Jay, okay, why sure doesn't your is. status always have the shy uvu like pointy fingers emoji? <laughs> like, are you shy uvu? Are you shy uvu? He's so shy. So shy. Oh yeah, my god. This is gonna be a great. You want intro. me to change it? I'll change it right now. Please. Well, I won't see you no well, more. Right, Especially the woman moment. Yeah, the woman moment with the fucking point. What is that supposed to? What is that supposed to mean? Woman moment. No. Please Wasn't call. it like after yesterday? <laughs> All right. Go fish. Go fish? Oh, we head no, back into hard. the world of Zerner. Back to join our currently <laughs> unnamed <laughs> party. Can you write it now? Is it better? What? Great. Jay, please mute yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, whoa, it's not toxic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's toxic? Together we head back into the world of Xeranir. To our currently unnamed party, as they have narrowly escaped a winter wolf and a few of its subordinates. They have come up to a guarded clearing with ten. Firelight peeking between the tree branches on this full moon night. Wary and looking for shelter. We met Juka, the otter looking voice of the caravan, and he has welcomed you into the camp for the night. As you begin to walk through past a few of the brightly colored guards, you smell roasted vegetables, different assorted meats, the scent wafting through the air. You hear laughter and you see kids of all kinds running through. You see a few half-orcs. You see a young elf. And you see a few almost cat-like folk whose children are running around. You see a few kobolds, you see a goblin here and there, and you don't see any fighting. You see everyone getting along, having fun, singing, dancing, trying to sell each other their wares that they're bringing. You see a goblin trying to sell a belt buckle that they've made, and you see one of the cat folk bartering with a new leather-bound journal. As you follow Zhuka through to the main tent, a solid maroon color with golden trim with silver flowers curling off the golden trim. It's a beautiful pattern. And it seems befitting for Yuka. You walk into the tent behind him, and there is a solid wooden desk with a... It looks like a collapsible chair that as Juka plops himself down on it, you can tell is somehow sturdy. What can I do for you? Uh, Why have you come? I, 
We've just kind of stumbled upon this place, have we not? I'm trying to remember. I think we just kind of showed up. Oh, bye, Nick. <laughs> the DM's gone. What happened? I killed him. It kicked me no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure we didn't show up. Right. Right, Nick. Right. 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 Did you hear any of what I said? Yeah. He asked us okay, what, cool. what, yes. like, what we're doing here. And I'm pretty sure we just kind of stumbled here after the fight. With those bandits. Well, you guys were sent on a job, sort of. Uh, show of goodwill. Oh, yeah, with the escort. Uh, we. We are here to offer our services of protection as a show of good faith from the tankards and tails. Tavern. Hmm. Yes, how is Talos doing? The old bastard's still kicking. As expected, as expected. Well, the accompany the accompany me accompany Ah, forgive me, common is not my first language. The escorting would be much appreciated. All right. Um, you guys look a little rough at the moment. I just kind of wait. Can I offer you some food and drink for the night? Yes. Cheers. I have two. <coughs> That would be oh, amazing. Cypress. And as he yells for Cypress, you see this little... Little halfling fellow. <laughs> come in wearing just a plain, plain maroon outfit. He almost blends into the tent. Yes, sir. Fetch our guests some... Um... Are you allergic to anything? Uh, no. Any no. anyone else? No. 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 I am. Good. What? Watch them all. Oh, Wizzy, <laughs> Wizzy, what are you allergic to, Wizzy? Uh, 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 cinnamon. What? what is bullshit. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, you're Bro, allergic you to You hate cinnamon. me for biological reasons, huh? Yes, man. What's your name again? Silas. Cyrus. No. I am allergic. <laughs> <Si> Silas. <laughs> That's what I said. You turn to talk to Cyrus and he's already gone. What do you mean? I don't feel great. I'm bleeding. Oh, Why? Uh, what do you mean, why? Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought you might hit in last real life. Time, no. Last time we fought that winter wolf, and then we fought those bandits. Guys, I turned into a wolf. You did. We still have those pelts, do we not? I'm so cool. Yeah. yeah. We still have the pelts. They're somewhere. Cool. Can I turn into a wolf what? at any time? I think it's like once or twice per day. It, uh, for right now, it is once or twice a day. Turning into a wolf? Yep. <gasps> so it's like it's. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay. And when you turn into a wolf, you have those wolf's hit points. Like, you could be at mm -hmm. one hit point, you could turn into the wolf and have however much he has. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. when you go back, you still have one hit point. Okay. It's pretty nice. Let's go eat. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, hey, look oh, at hey. all this good food. 
Well. Zhuka leads you to the back part of the tent. You notice that it's multiple tents kind of sewn together to look like one grand, grandiose tent. And you can tell by the extra sh stitchings in part of the lines and some of the shades between areas in the tent are not the same color. They're close, but uh, different enough that you recognize they're two different fabrics. And there is a big ovalish table kind of sat low to the ground with pillows where you would assume chairs would normally go and Juka kind of scampers over and sits down on one at the head of the table come please join me okay what if he poisons us wouldn't that be unfortunate and I sit down. <laughs> I mean, there's no way, right? There's no way. <clears throat> I mean, can't trust anybody now. Nah, there's no way. So, uh... Luca? Zuka. Zuka. What brings you to... All the way on this side of the... Continent? Oh, uh, well, the caravan has always been a kind of a brevity of light and wonder in the winter months, and it's just the joy that it brings to people is amazing, and also the coin. The coin is good, as he's tapping his golden rings on his fingers. The coin is nice. I see. Uh, have you had any troubles in your travels? Oh, some here, some there, but nothing that we can't ever really handle. Well, let us hope that our next few days are uneventful. Oh, we're going to be camping here for a good, a solid week. Uh, yes. Why you rush? Of course. Uh, do you have any leather workers among you? Oh, I... <clears throat> Choked on my word. <coughs> I believe we do. For um... medics? Well, it's a possibility. We do have... We do have some midwives here, if... No. Hmm. We do have... Oh, there's gotta be someone somewhere. Um... You know, to be quite honest, I'm not entirely sure who and what we have here. There are so many people coming and going and joining and dispersing. It makes it hard for me to keep track and... You know, I quite forgot your question. Lovely. Uh, well, the reason I asked is because we have these wolf pelts uh, on, on a goat from a winter wolf that we slayed and the, I was wondering if we could perchance turn those into nice winter cloaks for the party hmm maybe maybe um I think that that would be a possibility. Cool. But I think that that may also not be a possibility. 
Why so vague? Mm. I'm sorry, what? Okay. And you see him kind of messing around with a rock that he picked up off the ground. This man's crazy. He's a bit special. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah, okay, I keep eating and then I finish, I guess. Does this a short rest, Nick? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. That means I I'd say with the time that it takes to entertain his oddities and insectricness and to eat your meal. Yes, this would be a short rest. Not at two hit points anymore. <laughs> Wait, how much how much health do we have now? So what do we know, gain? So you know how you have uh like your hit dice? Mm-hmm. You can expend as many as you want to heal mm -hmm. during a short rest. So you have three D what, eight hit dice? Why do I only have twelve hit points? Because we were in combat last, remember? Yeah, yeah. but the combat. issue is, is that I don't have what I had last. Got my actual hit points. Man. You just have twelve. There's no way I just have twelve. You took damage, remember? All right. Wait, uh, should Anthony, we roll? roll an intelligence Me? check? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, just a woods, a woods, a woods, a woods, a woods. What's the die? I need to know that, right? D20. Yeah, D20, 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 uh, D20, D20. Oh, 13. Okay, that took so long. Uh, What was the thing I needed? The intelligence. I'm very intelligent. Uh, Three. That's like, that's like oh, hey, 16. Ready. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Wait, Nick, um, for the hit points, do we roll like the the 8 die? Uh, what is your... Yeah, yes, you would. Okay, how many times? Or is it just once? Uh, how many hit die do you have for your level? Where, where do I, where do I check that? You are a druid. I am checking right now, actually. You have 1d8 per level. Okay, so this one? You should be level three right now. Okay. Fine. Oh, so I so I do three three. Yep, one d eight okay. or three d. You can you can do as many as you want, just under three d eight. Oh, okay. I got eight. Oh, we nine twenty. But that's like more than my max. Do I just go to my max? Yes. And uh, what what did you get for your intelligence check, Anthony? Uh, 16. Yeah, 16, 16. Good news, 16. you were smart enough to avoid all the food with cinnamon. Of course I am, right? Yeah. <laughs> More. More. Alrighty. So your meal concludes and you all begin to stand. Here's a good here's a good filling meal. Probably the most flavorful you've had in a while, considering where you've been staying. 
And it was a nice change of pace. You get up and uh, Zhuka has Cyrus lead you out of the tent. And you are free to walk around and explore for a little bit or try and find a spot to put up a tent of your own for the night. <laughs> We could find a spot and then go find um, the leather person. Uh, is Harvey and Grace even here? I don't think so. They want to go and get food? Yeah, it's like, do we, do we, do we, we wait? We can, you know? we can just decide, guys. Let's go set up our tent. Oh, I want a tent. <laughs> Actually, we are tent. So, do we we go and set up our tent? I'll right. go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys walk around and look for an empty spot, and you get to towards the back half of the camp, and you see. A few of these similarly, similarly colored guards standing about 10 feet apart from each other. And apparently the entrance to the back end of the camp is barred off. So you go back towards the front and you find a nice open spot. And you set up camp for the night. Or at least your tent. It is up for you guys whether you want to go ahead and take a long rest and explore the camp in the morning or explore it right now. Um, I think we should go find the uh, leathersman so then in the morning we'll be done. If that's how it works. It is how it works. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so we can go explore and find one. Alrighty. I'm gonna have someone roll an investigation check. What are we exploring? The camp. The camp. We're or like something or just like oh, looking. The the leatherman's oh, thing. Oh, you're looking for leatherman. Yeah, we set up our a, tent. I got a fifteen. Okay. Alrighty. I also want to look for that goblin, Nick. <laughs> goblin D's balls. You know what oh, goblin no. I'm talking about? You want me to be Pacific? Okay. Which goblin? Pacific. The one who was selling a belt buckle. Oh! For my new <laughs> wolf belt pelt. Okay, Do we, would uh, we all get a, get a, a cloak? I think we have enough, yeah. But okay. wait, doesn't Anthony get... Somebody gets my raccoon stuff because we wouldn't have enough. I want that. Yeah, Anthony I mean, wanted it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, can somebody read want me it. the questions that I had told someone to write down for the wolf pelt? Uh, I think I put it somewhere. Um, it was four strips of eight, uh, eight by eleven. Mm. Pelt strips. Yeah, that's enough, right? Possible That'd be enough for two, maybe three. Oh. I don't know dimensions. <laughs> you know, I don't even have a fucking cloak. Mm. Okay, I have one so Art can have it. And then someone else. Can I have one? If mm -hmm. you're if you're looking for the full outfit, it'd be two, maybe three. If you're looking for just a cloak, mm -hmm. it would be probably Four, maybe five. I just oh, want a okay. cloak and some yeah. booties. Gracie, did you want a cloak? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I already wait, have a cloak. Wait, do I have a cloak? I have a cloak, right? You already have a cloak, yeah. What's it made out of? I don't cloak. remember. We got it at the beginning. It's just leather, right? It's just normal cloak. Yeah, then I or want like one. Or like cloth. Yeah, yeah then I want it's oiled wool cloth. <clears throat> yeah. All right. 
So with that 15, you go around and... <laughs> you go around and ask about a leather worker. And you... There are a lot of people singing and dancing and just having fun. You get to one area of the camp that looks like There's a about 10 foot, 15 foot by 15 foot square with shoddy wooden boards around it. And you see what looks like a brutal fight at first, but as you get closer to it, you see the over-exaggerated getting hit back and the punches landing softer and you see a small crowd cheering them on you walk a bit further past and you see this little you can't see what it is actually it's covered in a kind of gray dark wool coat cloak that's waddling in and out through the crowd you'll see it stop flash something you see it walk up to another group flash something else and it kind of makes its way off into the crowd you stop one of the people that it was talking to and ask them about the leather worker and your response, the response that you get is, they're near, they're near the front of the camp, on the right side when you walk in. Nice. So you walk, and you see this tent, and as you're walking up from behind it now, you see a board along the back side of the tent, where someone is currently scraping off the fur of some type of animal to dry to try and dry and leather the pelt cool I guess we commission him and then pay him accordingly question mark how well, much is it gonna be I guess that's for him to decide slash us to negotiate cause I'm poor me too <laughs> kind of. I don't, maybe uh, maybe we can ask him in exchange for the pelts or the, well, not the pelts, the cloaks. We can do him some favors. Also possible. Uh, excuse me, my good man, woman. Would would can I help you? Uh, yes. And this large, large gray fellow with long ears turns around. You see a short, almost cow-like face, and curly brown hair that goes down to about his chin. You see a silver septum piercing in his bovinish nose, and while the rest of the camp is bright and colorful, you see he's just wearing a rather plain beige, beige shirt. Uh, I was wondering if you could uh, fashion these pelts that I kind of gestured. What's Ellie's? Ellie, what's your character's name? Hmm. Um, Alvera? Alvera, okay. Yeah. I gesture Alvera to bring the goat with the pelts forward. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we have, uh, these pelts that we got off of a winter wolf. And I was wondering what? if you could turn these into, uh, cloaks for us. 
Are, is that within your skill set? No. No, I can make them into a cloak, but I can't. I can't guarantee that they would retain any of its uh, wintry ness. Shit. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. That- Yes. yes. That makes sense. That tracks. I understand. Can I be uh, like besties with this character? Like, he sounds like great, honestly. <laughs> He's got like a septum piercing going He's on. He's so you know? cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you be able to uh, tan them? For lack of better. Like, make sure they don't spoil. So that way they're usable in the future, but still retain the properties? Is that something you can do well let's see here because I don't want them to go back that may be a possibility but uh you know we're uh hmm hmm I I would talk to Adrian he's he's much more knowledgeable about this stuff He's. Where... He deals with all the arcane and all of that mumbo jumbo. I I just I just deal with dead animals. That's it. That's all I deal with. Lovely. My kind of. Scratch. And sometimes life ones, if you know you want them dead. Uh, I believe I believe Wizzy yeah. knows what that's I know. like but with rats. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, can you point me in the direction of Adrian, please? Um, yeah, he's off over that way. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes, no. <laughs> um. So go back to the go back to the fighting square. And you're gonna right. take a right. Or right. is that a left? Okay. And he begins looking at his hands. Which way does an L go? Uh, that would be that hand, and I gesture to his left. Ah, yes. Then go the other way. So go left at the fighting square. No, go not left. Not... Okay. Thank you Thank- so much. And can't I- miss it. He's got, he's, got a, he's got a pink tent. Pink tent. Cool. 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 And I turn around and I go look for a pink tent to the right of the fighting square. I want to be friends with this guy is a pink tent. <laughs> Adrian. Yeah. Is he a little fruity? Maybe. He could be a she. Adrian is gender neutral. <laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. Also, on the way, Nicholas, if I see that goblin, I'm going to hunt him down. Yes. Nice PFD and matches. Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's Anthony's PFV? Oh, he's a wizard. It's a wizard, like, from the thing we're doing. <laughs> what a coming thing. I know, right? Anthony's been in Valorant for 18 minutes. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check, I guess, Xavier. You know what? I will. Because I'm looking for that goblin. Ooh. Ooh. I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven? Yes. I don't know where he is. So you kind of... In, a, in an excited attempt to look for the goblin, you kind of, as you walk, as everyone's walking over to the tent, kind of hang back for a minute and step on a crate and get up and look. And to your surprise, you only see the heads of people taller than four foot in the crowd. Shorties. 
And a little ways away. I'd say probably about 40 feet. You see Alvaro talking to someone. But you don't think anything of it, so you keep looking for a minute. Alvaro, as you are making your way over to the tent, or toward the direction of where the furball said the tent was, you feel this little thud against your knee, and you look, look down and you see this goblin rubbing the side of her face. Oh, I'm I'm very sorry. Um, do you have coin? Coin? For what? I take that as a yes. Do you want a belt buckle? And she <laughs> shows you this shiny silver belt buckle, probably about the size of your fist. Now, where the hell could this person be? <gasps> It's gorgeous. Um, I currently don't have any any need for it, but I think I do have a friend who might want it. I okay. want it. And he, she waddles away into the crowd. <gasps> she left even after I gave her? Oh my god. Anthony and I are going to have a wizard stool over this belt buckle. <laughs> I want a buckle for my hat. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't see this fucker. Maybe because he's so low to the ground. I know. She jumped, bumped into my knee, bro. Do we eventually find a pink tent, or did this furbolg man not know his left from right? <laughs> In the low. <laughs> well, someone's gotta make a, someone's gotta make a perception or investigation check. I'll make a per. A, a, hang on. I can investigate. Well then do that. No, we can both do it. Oh, well, okay. I'll investigate, because that's way better than my perception. Yeah, see, look at that. 22. I'm in an investigatorial, man. I gotta put my plate up, hold on. Yeah, give me a second, I'm gonna get my dice. <laughs> what? What? No, what? No, I'm just... I found I found some of the notes. The, I fucking love this. Fine. No reason. Oh my. Perception is 20, right? All skill checks yep, are perception would be a d20. Oh, well, I got a 19 plus 1, so... 30, 20 is good. So you got a 20, I got Alrighty. 22. Yep. Does that mean we find it? Yeah. yeah. Give me just a second. Jay, I love you. I love you too. Love you too. What? <laughs> Talk to me. What? Who is he? I don't want to hear from anyone. I literally looked for Javi's messages and I saw that Jay was like breastfeed me. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. They like flirted. Like. Grace she photoshopped some uh -huh. false allegations. Uh -huh. Hang on, bro. It's Javi, it's cheating? so bad. I'm not cheating oh. on anybody. Oh, I'm being oh. set up. Whoa. See, look, I'll put him in no mic. Whoa, what are you, what are you guys talking just, about? Bro, Jay, they're, just, they're trying to set me up, there's man. The with Jay. There's the one with Jay Bay. And... <laughs> no. And here's the one, here's the one of grass. Javi, I don't care if you're a main or a side hoe, I need you. What? Bro, that's not me. What? <laughs> these are clearly <laughs> other people. I found these at like that's not even my in the morning, bro. It was at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, don't bump it. 
I told him to be gay if his friends a little bit, not fucking be like, I want to fuck you into the Eiffel Tower with Jay. <laughs> what the fuck, breastfeeding? Yeah, <laughs> Jay's cringe. <laughs> I actually, actually, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll give, uh, I'll maybe give Javi the benefit of the doubt with the draft <laughs> one. I won't because he literally sent him a photo of what the Eiffel Tower was. <laughs> How to do that like, position. Literally can't prove that. He literally he looked at me, he's like, there was a photo there to show him. Dude, she's gaslighting me. Hey, whoever wants to tell me the yeah. truth about these tech gets a reward. Oh, speaking of rewards, Nick, uh Grace lost a hit point. I did. did. Why? Nick knows. Did you get beaten? Oh shit. That's maximum HP, isn't it? Yes. Well, Grace, I'm sorry. I already, I already, t I know. I already took it away. I know. I can tell you all too, but you will also lose hit points. It's a yeah. secret. Knows, a secret yeah. Point. And Grace, oh. if you tell anyone, it's two more. Oh, oh. God damn! I'm not gonna tell anyone, bro. He's Jay, cursed. Jay, Jay, ask what it is. Jay, ask what it is. There's a hit point. There's a hit point, Jay. I kind of want to know. Like, it's not worth it. Actually, I is don't want to know what it is. It's just a hit point, isn't I it? Want, I want Jay to know what it is, but I'm not gonna tell Jay. I'm gonna get. Wait, I'm gonna get Jay to ask Nick. Wait, can I know? Cause once we take a long rest, I'll just reset, right? No, it's maximum. No. You you will lose one of your like actual like hit points. Oh, never mind then. Fuck that. Did we I find... didn't. I didn't know that until I asked, and then he's like, "Will you lose one now?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does, does, what, doesn't he lose two? Yeah, I think Javi should lose like two because of that. That's actually fair, is it not, Nicholas? It's very fair. Because yeah, he yeah. told me. So what? this means Javi should lose two. What for what? Can't be for telling me the secret. This was never in the contract. Nick just said it, so I think Javi loses two. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Am I am I correct, Nicholas? Is this correct? Because Xavier's not the one that wanted it. You are. But he's the but one like, that told me it, though. Yeah. He literally just said if I told somebody, I'd lose two. Avi told somebody it, so he should lose two. Hmm. Bro, I'm a wizard with a D6 he's a wizard, hit he's die. At two hit point. If I lose if I two hit points, I die. It's too bad. Take them away right now. <laughs> Hold on. Boy. I pass out in the middle of the square. <laughs> so as you are weaving your way through the crowd, you get back to the fighting pit, and you see two new fighters in the ring. You see a large half-orc fellow, and you see this feline, feline-looking person with claws out two very long canine teeth jutting down almost to the chin and you see this fight neither team is holding back neither team or neither person is pulling punches and you see Fluids being Ew. clawed out of skin, and you see hair and fur being yanked out as well. You see an mm. entirely new crowd surrounding it. They are cheering and roaring as tired and achy as you are. You decide that this is not currently where you want to be, so you continue off to the right. Looking for a pink tent. And you see about a good 15, 20 feet away this flamingo pink tent with a floofed top and soft, softer pink, almost like cotton candy. 
trim around the entrance. What do you do? Can you say my name? No. No? I just said anybody. What do you do? We're looking for the pink tent, right? This is irrelevant Any to us. Wait, so no, we gotta protect them. Wait, no, so the dude's getting beaten the shit out of him, right? Yes. What if, what if you don't need to deal with that? Yeah, I'm not, no, what if it's Adrian? Or whatever his, their name is. Why would it be? I don't know. You want me to stop it all to... Oh my god. It doesn't have to be you. I've walked oh, towards the person getting... Aren't you beaten. dead? <laughs> no. He's not actually you dead. Do, oh, you okay. It is a 10 by 10 circle. Okay, I try to push. Wooden... Like, is he about to oh. die? Like, getting that badly beaten up? They're both looking kind of rough right now. Can I, I ask the nearest person, I say, is this, is this, is this a brawl to the death? in the crowd you tap a you tap a small elven girl on the shoulder and ask her that she goes no not really just one of the first drops drops and then you know someone will carry them off and the next day they're fine okay that's great to know thank you and i turn around to the party and i say they're fine Okay. And we go to Adrian's. You don't want to be the reason they hate us. I don't want to just jump in there and they'll be like, Hey, what's this loser doing? And then they both beat me up. <laughs> I'm afraid of you and all two of your hit points. <laughs> well, I took a short rest. I'm, I'm up now a little bit. I'm at a nice half of my hit points. You now. and all nine in your hit points. Yes. My max um, now is 18, really? by the way. <laughs> <laughs> level 3. Level 3. No, it's three. not even level 3. It's wizards, man. I'm a wizard, man. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So you guys are now standing in front of the flamboyant pink tent. What do you do? I walk in. Hello. Hey. Adrian, I presume. To the first person. Yes, and who are you? I am Silas Domsta, and I take a slight bow. Uh, I was wondering if you could help me uh, work with that furble gentleman, the, the plain fellow with the, the septum piercing, uh, I was wondering if you... Ernest. Yes, him. If you could collaborate with him and help us with a project, we have killed yeah. and skinned a winter wolf, and we were wondering if you could work together in order to maintain that winter essence within the pelts while they'd be made into cloaks and a pair of boots. That should be doable. Um, you see as they stand up from when you walked in they were their back was to you, long blonde hair uh, flowing down past the shoulders onto the ground. Oh, wow. Oh, and my God. It's with the small candles that are lined around the edges of the tent. You look around for a second and realize wait, why is it different on the inside? You look out and it's a flamboyant pink with the almost cotton candy trim 
around the edges and you bring your head back in and it is a deep cobalt blue with gray trim that almost looks as if it's stone holding up the tent they stand up and turn around and you see this this elf with long blonde hair and piercing blue eyes look at you did Ernest I'm assuming you since you've talked to Ernest he sent you to me <sighs> okay yes, he does not That's... deal with the arcane like you and I no he does not you and I they raise an eyebrow at you he is very simple as it would be what is your passive perception 13. All right. You see a small uh, wave of their hand almost behind their back as if they're trying to hide something. Did and... I... Did I notice what it was? Uh, or just that they did something? It was just a wave of their hand. Did I... Can I sense what it was? I don't think I can. That doesn't make sense. I'm assuming he cast detect magic on it, me. Or something. It seemed like something of an arcane nature. It's up to you what you do. I'll be like, uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to be very open here, and you are not doing the same. I saw you. <laughs> Magic man. Let me see what I was doing. I don't know what you're doing. Because I forgot Bro, what I was die. doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. My next character is going to be Swain. From League of Legends. How tall is this man? I swear to God, if you say so far, Silas is the only one in it. Yes. They are about five eight. Okay. Oh, um, same height as me. I'm taller. <laughs> and you like see, he sounds like like he sounds hand, hot, you know. I know. That's what I'm <laughs> After the wave of the hand, you hear what sounds like a, wait, where did it go? Stop. What? what you you hear a small whisper from behind your ear going, are you sure you belong here? I turn around, is there anybody there? There's no one there. What? I didn't say anything. And... You hear behind you again. But I did. Again, as a whisper. Almost as if it's almost as if it's right behind your ear. Uh I cast can I cast detect magic? Like mm -hmm. not trying to be subtle about it, can I just whoosh? Wait, what's going on? I don't know. Some people are whispering in my ears and they ain't there. Oh. Me too. <laughs> I'm going crazy. You cast Detect Magic and... Uh, Adrian kind of raises one of their eyebrows at you. And kind of smirks. 
and immediately around your vision you see this lavenderish color around you you see this lavenderish color like almost kind of drifting in front of your vision and you look around and realize it's surrounding you you sense an illusion based spell surrounding your immediate person hmm neat well uh oh. since we're showing off parlor tricks uh i cast mirror image on myself hold on basically there's two of me now See, we're both practitioners of the arcane. I get it. Very fancy. Double trouble. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Pardon. Tell me, if you have powers like this, why can you not do it yourself? Because uh, I've never done this before. I've never tried to Fine. maintain the magical properties of a winter wolf's pelt. I have no experience. Mm. What's with the uh, illusion? Is this supposed to be some sort of scare tactic? Also, there also are three duplicates, so there's four of me now. Now that oh, I'm reading this spell. We're all talking at the same time. But only I, the voice. Voice. I only deal with people of the arcane. I don't deal with people like Ernest. Well, he's not unless I have to. Right. And I just so I wanted to make sure that you were the real deal. I dispel my <laughs> illusions. Is he racist? He's magist. <laughs> I'm a mage. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I do have another one of the arcane practitioners with me. Oh, they call climbing a man? No, no. One of you is enough. Okay. And they begin to kind of pace around and this is when you see a sort of shimmer to their clothes. Ah, oh, also made armor. When you first saw it, it was dark purple. Almost a metallic purple, and as they begin to walk back and forth, as the different lights from the candles hit them, you see blue and pink and cobalt and red gray and white all hidden in this purple but only those variations of colors <laughs> they're walking around kind of thinking to themselves for a minute Depending on how much you have, I could probably probably help you out. It would cost a great deal of coin, though, as it is keeping a biological element and using it as an enchantment. Right. How uh, much? Best I can really do, I can't speak for the others, but I'm a bit light on coin. Light being, uh, I could probably do 25 gold. Is that anywhere near what you are suggesting, or are you suggesting much more? You can see they are head down kind of face in the hands they're pinching their brow if it does, it does mean anything we 
uh, my companions and I have been sent as a show of good faith to more or less protect the caravan. Uh, I'm sure if we weren't here, you know, this wolf could have been your problem. Not that, Not that you know, I doubt your skills or anything. But I'm glad with we whatever here. respect is due. You can't keep your belly full with good faith. I guess if you really need coin, you can go join the barbarians in the fighting pit. Lord knows there's prize money enough to go around. So how much uh, were we thinking, like, for... Are we, are we talking for instilling just the, the pelts themselves, or is this along with leather work? Because that means we'll have to go back to Ernest. The simple man. So rude. <laughs> this would be the equipment and the pelts themselves. Okay, so this is just the pelts. Got it. Uh, how much would that run? Well, how big are each pelt? How big is each pelt? Uh, I list the dimensions that I remember. Because Silas remembers them. That's, that's okay. what? What is it? Arc like four by ten? Isn't it eight by ten? Eight by ten. It's eight by eleven. Eight by eleven. Oh. See, Silas knows that. We have four of them. There's equipment. There's materials. There's labor. It would be it would be about one fifty each. Oh my God. I try not to like suffocate. I gotta go <coughs> <coughs> one fifty <laughs> each. Lovely. Uh, I will be sure to tell the others. What would be the timeline since slain for these to go bad? Or is, like, the properties oh. of the fur itself going to keep it well until use? Again, I have no experience with this. I'd say within a day or two, they would be past their prime. Ah, shit. Okay, well... We need a nice box. I kind of... think to myself and scratch evening other, under the, like, beak. Well, oh. I suppose I'll tell the others. Uh, thank you, Adrian. I am Silas. I don't know if I said that. I did. That was the first thing I said. I'll leave. Yes, yes. The pleasure is yours. They kind of wave you off. Close <sighs> the flap on your way out. Oh, snobby. Okay, yeah, I, I close the flap as he asks. And I get out, and I explain everything. And then I say, this dude is an ass. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be about 150 each. We could make coin in the fighting Five. pit. But I'm not really suited for that. I could try it though, because I really want this cloak. Might be your best bet. Also, I didn't see. Did they have weapons when they were fighting, or were they just fisticuffs fighting? Nick. Uh, when you first saw, they were fisticuffs. When you went back and saw the actual fighting, they were using whatever they had on them. So one of them was using claws and fangs. The other was just using his fists. Wait, claws and fangs? What was it? You don't know much. 
You don't know much more than that. It wasn't human? <laughs> like it wasn't a It human? had human features. Oh shit. It was a cross between a person and an animal. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> Who wants to make money? Me? Money? Money? Yes, money. money. I'm gonna turn money. into a wolf and kill them. For you. Right, and get uh, so much money. Do, do you have any more uh, healing left in you, Elvera? Yeah, probably. You wanna, you know? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Here, um, it's it's healing word, right? Or cure wounds. Cure wounds is better if you have that. Cure, I. I don't- I don't know if I have that. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay, healing word is okay. So, I- do I roll? Yeah. It's- hold on, I'll look it up. Okay, it's- it's the four what dice. What level are you casting it at? Yeah, what level uh, do you have? Do you have level two? Yeah. Do that. It's more. Okay. Okay. Um, it's- 2d4 plus two. your wisdom. Okay, so... Um, I got six, and then what's your wisdom? Plus three, I got nine. I'm full hit points. Look at that. Yay. Ten plus nine. Yay. Yay. Eight. Ten plus nine. Yay. Nine plus ten. Yay. Who wants Yay. to go fighting? Thank Me. you, uh, Elvira. Uh, let's let's go fighting. <clears throat> yeah. To make some coins so we could buy our pelts. Get winter cloaks. Cloak. We're gonna look so cool. Uh, as a show of good faith, Wizzy, my friend, Me? my magical companion. I'm magical. Would you like to trade a tire? Hmm. Would you like this mm, sure. garb? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I like raccoons. I like raccoons. Uh, do you, uh, do you still want to keep the your hat on top of your raccoon hat, or are we switching hats too? What? I don't need a hat, but you can keep. You know what? You just hat keep is it. Super cool. Uh, can I have your cloak just for the time being, so I don't freeze? Guess. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You can have my raccoon cloak and my. I actually wrote I... down what I have. Hold on. Ooh, I, have... I love raccoons. You now have a fur hat, cloak, and boots, Ant. Oh. But it's okay. all raccoon. Is, is it good? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, like, is do it, anything it's... for you, but it's it's raccoon now. Yay. I donned my new cloak and boots as my hair billows in the wind. <laughs> and I walk. I march. Dare I say, toward the yeah. fighting pits. Okay. Uh, give me just one second to let me find my notes. Bro, I have to fight. You know how strong I am? You know how little I am? I want to fight too. I just need money for this cloak, man. Oh, I also need to pay back that one dude. Yes. We're poor. Oh my god. How have we not gotten much gold? Uh, Coin. Well, our first job we didn't get paid for because we had to get into the guild. Our second job we did get paid for and then we shopped. And this is our third job. Which is oh. also not paid. Did I not get paid for my first? Nobody got paid for their first. I, this Why? is my second one, bro. Oh, I haven't even had a second job yet. I have not got <laughs> any money. The only thing that we got from the second oh, sure. job was we, like, we found a little pouch that had like 400 gold coins in it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and then I had to yeah. give it away. But it and had a magic item in it that we don't even know what it was. Why did I give it we... to that bitch? 
All she Language. did was pay for my room, which I could have done. She didn't pay for your oh, room. No, she didn't she pay for my... Yeah, she stole the key. God damn it. If I had 400 gold, I could pay for two cloaks for us. I also had a magic item. She was also a 16-year-old whose dad was just murdered. I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, fuck that bitch. I'll give her some gold. When I give her 400. Anyway. Why did you give her 400? I don't, because I felt bad. So? I'm gonna go murder her. So I gave her her money back. Why? Well, because we took it off the dad or something, or like one of the bandits. (laughs) And then I was like, oh yeah, this is what's left of your family's fortune. I gave it to her. Because she couldn't find a place to sleep that night. Because she didn't have money. I know, I'm an idiot. Like, 1% of it. I'm too nice. 1% is 4 gold. (laughs) Which would have covered room and board. Let's fight, let's fight. I'm ready. I try and crack my knuckles, but I can't. Alrighty. So you walk up to the fighting pit, and you see this kind of short, stocky fellow standing up on a standing up on a crate. His beard is braided and kind of done really well at first. You can tell it was really careful, and then towards the end, it's just kind of knotted together and hastily tied. His deep auburn hair kind of just flowing to his shoulders, kind of curly. And you hear him yelling, Now who wants to step up into the ring? Uh, <clears throat> sir, of course, uh, sir, sir, I would like to throw myself in. I was told there would be coin. I say as the whole crowd is looking at me. There would be, yes. Um, who might you be? Uh, <clears throat> Silas Dawnstar, and I take a slight bow. Uh, what are the rules of this combat? Anything goes... Use what is at your disposal. Oh, sounds like no, a good time. You, there's not much. Are there any uh, consequences if they end up dead? Whoa, 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 whoa! Elvin, whoa! Oh, Elvira. Christ. I'm not killing people. I'm I'm just asking. No, I want to participate too. I'll need to kill While we I never had anyone end up too. dead yet. And... Uh, da 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 Okay. He mumbles something under his breath that you don't quite get. Uh, it's first to the drop. Fun. Well, I'd like to submit myself. And I believe <laughs> a few of my companions would also like to fight. Alrighty. Well, since you're first come, first serve in this, I will say... I have changed his voice three times since I started talking to him. <clears throat> He's the Dwarven fellow, yeah? Since you it... are first up first, sir, I will say you can choose your opponent. Sylvia Gilead. Get over here. Sylvia and you see this... It's a lovely name. Through the crowd you see this hulking behemoth uh! wander over. And you see this Goliath standing tall, Ah. slams a mace down into the ground in front of him. (laughs) Wait, is this is this Sylvia or is this Gilead? Then you see from out behind him this about maybe five three five four teenage girl walk out and just kind of. Put her arms behind her back. Uh, 
Uh, you see, uh, Gilead is wearing, uh, plate mail armor that covers his hulking body, his hulking torsos, and it is dented and heavily scratched, but it still gleams. And you look over at Sylvia, and she's wearing just simple leather armor. Her face is kind of dirty. And she's uh, just kind of uh, oh, no. rocking back and forth on her toes. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I'll okay. do the big girly man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse Listen, me, Altera. That teenager, I'm talking. That teenager sounds scary. I'm talking here. Is I got the option to choose. Uh, do I get more for the big fellow? You will be told how much you get after you choose your opponent. Fun. Uh, Gilead, my good friend, and I extend my hand. <laughs> uh, please. I would like to offer you combat. My hand is extended. And there's, and there's only two fighters, right? Listen, that teenager sounds scary. You don't want to fight the teenager, I'll fight the teenager. Bro, <laughs> fuck up, I'll fight the kid. Fuck up that kid. Yeah, yeah take okay. that kid. Gilead yeah. looks down at you. <laughs> Gilead looks down at you and goes, Fine. But first, I will need to change out my gear. Of and course. you see him just kind of toss his mace over at this. This is your first time looking around at some of the spectators. You see this person standing there, kind of... His arm is missing. Oh? But where his left arm should be, you see this bright blue arm in its place. Jagged points coming off of it and steam kind of rising up. You see him catch the mace and with a gr set it down. And he reaches his arm out and grabs this. Well, it looks like a pole sticking up out of the ground. And as he hefts it up and brings it over to Gilead, you see it is a great iron war hammer. Hmm. That will cave my skull in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. My hand is still been out this whole time. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I wish you luck. Uh, and he grabs likewise. your hand, and his entire hand encompasses yours. Ah, ah. But it's... He doesn't squeeze down. You make that noise out of instinct, but he's actually very gentle with it. Aww. He's a gentle giant. Do you, you, he's not he's a gentle giant. 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 That would be funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm Wait, am I, can I fight the teenager? Wait, can we fight the teenager? That is the only person left. <laughs> as a yeah, I'm fighting the teenager. And you, what is your name? As the dwarf looks at you. Uh, Al Alvera? Alvera? Mm -hmm. Meet Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. She will be your opponent today. Get your ass, okay? <clears throat> Can I, I shake her hand? I, well, no, I pull a grip. Yeah. She reaches out and takes your hand. I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> she knows okay. it. She knows, I know. That's, I wanted the big burly man, bro. I got first dibs. You see as you lose. <laughs> as long as he doesn't hit me, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a second, I have to... I have to find I both of their stats. I want to see Ant fight. 
Well, like Ant. Me. Well, could Ant and uh, Elvern fight each other? Could Wizzy and Elvern fight for money? I forgot what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Would would we get money out of it? If yeah, if me and Wizzy fought. Money. We're trying to get um, money so we could get cloaks. Right. Would I die if I take damage from him? Well, no. You well, just... let's hope not. Yeah, let's. It's up to you him, know, I guess. Uh, Anthony's pretty powerful. I don't know. Is he? Like yeah. ten hit points. Oh. Wait, can, can I heal Anthony? Over? Anthony, are you healed? Is that your full? I'm did pretty you... sure I am, right? Wait, we all took a short rest. Ant, did you heal during the short rest? No, you know, like two weeks ago. Man. Holy! No, 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 no. We... we did it today. Oh, that was, Damn, that was today. Oh, it... yes. Okay. You healed. <laughs> Say yes. Sure. Okay, so roll, roll three d sixes. Six days. Oh, oh, roll six. until you're full, like up roll. to three. What? <laughs> so, what does that mean? Okay, when you have a short rest, you can heal by using your hit dice. So you can roll those oh. and heal from it. Yeah. So you okay. you can do that. I'm gonna roll three dice. One. One. What? Yeah. Uh. One. Four. One. I think that's good, right? <laughs> And then like your one. your add hit your, add your constitution on top of that I believe right Nick or is that no? Okay okay. Oh uh, yeah, so it'd be constitution modifier. The constitution no like. Wait, what's that? That's like plus one. All right, so you add like, plus three because it's one per. Dice. One. Yeah, so it's one, one plus one. Oh, it's one per dice. Yeah. So it's one plus one, four plus one, and one plus one. That's like something, right? You might only need to use two. Maybe, maybe like your, what? What's your max, Ant? Maybe twelve. No eight. Okay, Alpha. I'll see. I'll see. Thirteen. Mm -hmm, your 13 maximum eight. is thirteen hit points. Yeah, that's about right. Are Wait, you your max is thirteen? There's no way. No way. Yeah, no, it's way... No, I'm pretty sure he's saying that's what he got in total. It said level 3, 13 HP. Is that right? Yeah, that's after damage, right? That's because we took damage last. Okay, add 13 to your, to your health. Your hit uh, point. What? Add 13 to 13. What? What? Man, what, what does it say? What is going on? Age? What We're asking for wait, your Wait, wait, Nick, just look, at, just look at his... Uh, look at his thing. Bro, it says here in my player logs 13 HP when I turn. Yes, because you took damage. Three. Right? When? When? Last time Last we played. Last time we played. Or is 13 your total Wait, hit Nick, points? just look at his uh, card. I think it's my total hit points. It's probably not. There's no I way. I didn't get a lot. I don't remember. But you should have more than that, no? No. No. You should have more than that. Uh, in a level two. Okay, well then, Why, the Anthony, on D and D, do you have D and D on open? Well, yeah, well like. What does that say? Oh no, Xavier. He... What? What? Because both times he leveled up, he got like two or something. Oh. Yeah. Got garbage rules. Oh, okay. At level 1, he had 7 hit points. Okay. Remember that? Remember when I died? Yeah, that, that makes sense then. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. A lot good of luck, fun. Anthony. Good luck. So, yeah, good luck. Would, would, uh... It. No, he's... He's unfortunate. Right. Would Ant be able to fight... <laughs> uh, Ark? Or is it just we have yeah. to fight the two opponents... That were offered. Um, let me roll for this. The dwarf was not paying attention to when you walked up. He did not see you come as a group. Oh, you can just... try to have them fight each other, but if someone calls you out on it, there would be consequences. Mm. Okay, well, I'll just focus on fighting my dude then. 
die. I'll be fine. I won't. I won't either. These teenagers are scary. It's always fucking teens. Well. Are you? Right. So the dwarf hops back up on his uh, little box and yells out, Welcome to another round of runes. Runes brawlers. Each, each person will be given five minutes to prepare. After that, it is going to be Gilead and Silas in the ring. Followed by, I'm sorry, what was your name, dear? Alvera. Alvera and our current champion, Sylvia. <laughs> champion! Oh my god. Gonna get your ass rocked. <laughs> So, do whatever last-minute preparations you want to do, Xavier. Oh, I get to do something before the fight? Yeah, you each have five minutes to prepare. Even me? Five minutes to prepare? No. Okay, well... No, him and Juliet. Okay, well, I don't really... I guess I'll just, you know, try to do stretches, but I don't really know a whole lot. So I kind of, like, do the arm thing. Uh, I kind of, I'm going to give evening to Elm, that way evening doesn't get hurt again, uh, Evie, and then I guess, am I allowed to cast a spell right before the fight starts, or no? As long as it's before you enter the ring, yes. Okay, well then literally, like, as soon, the closest I can get before entering the ring, I want to cast a uh, mirror image. So that way there's four of me who enter. Wait, is Hyde going first? Yes. Yep. Okay. So there are four of me now. Uh, that's really it. Alrighty. So that's all the preparations and I can make. Give me just one second here. And I'm out of second level spells. Okay. Give me just one second here. I gotta finish doing some stuff for Gilead real fast. Oh no. If this man hits me, I'm dead. I honestly did not expect you guys to fucking fight first thing. I figured that you'd sleep first. You know, that would be smarter. But we need money, and we're on a timeline because the pelts could go bad. And we don't want the pelts... Like, if there's a chance that we could have them be magical pelts, like magical cloaks, then duh. I want magical cloaks, that's cool. But... I'm exposing you in the recording, Grace. Get exposed, TFT player. I'm not doing anything right That's true. You're I'm not listening. You're not the one who's fighting. I'm gonna- Oh my god, I'm so Literally nervous. everyone else fighting except me. Well, Ant and Ark may not be. Hey, but if they do, hey Anthony. Uh, if I die, you can have my owl. Who? Who's owl? Well, it's a good thing that the owl disappears when I die, because you don't even know what the owl is. 
He's never heard of it. What? Eevee. Or yeah, Eevee. Evening Eevee. Both. I'm ready if you are. Uh, yeah, all four of us say yes, ready when you are. Yes. Oh. Uh, no. we, we, uh, are, we assume... Alrighty, it looks like our fighters are ready to enter the ring. And fight for... Okay, this time, Xavier, you do hear what he mutters. What does he mutter? After he says, to fight for a prize of 175 gold. That pay is Not including gold. whatever is bet. That's my cloak. Mm -hmm. I need to wait for this cloak. So if anyone bets on someone to win, you get that back, and the fighters will get a portion of the prize money. In the meantime, I don't have any money. Damn. In the meantime, you hear him mumble after that. And hopefully, no one dies in this city. Which, Xavier is the only one, or Silas is the only one that hears this, and it leads you to believe that while no one has died when they have been camping here, people have died in the past. <laughs> Wait, what? I, that's I verbally say that. Pardon? Everybody in the ring that is fighting. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, do I have... Do I have... A... Okay, go. I guess. Nick, do I get points for being ostentatious or no? Uh, try and find out. Okay. Now I would like you to roll for initiative. No, I'm good. Okay. Well, then you go no, 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 I rolled. I go first. Most likely. Gilead got 16. 23. 19 plus 4. Alrighty, and then give me just one second here. I gotta, I gotta win. I gotta go all out just this once. You know? I gotta get that cloak. Alrighty. Go ahead and start us off. Well, I start running towards him from the opposite side of the ring. Uh starting a slow chant under my breath and entering a blade song as a bonus action. So I can do it twice a day, which is nice. Uh, and... I guess I, I, I stab him, you know? As you do. Alright, go ahead and roll for attack. Okay. Ooh, 23. Alrighty. Is that to hit? That hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. Six piercing. As I stab him. As I leap and I stab him as high as I can leap, which is not that far. So you do leap up and you stab him and you find a weak spot in his armor. The blow kind of glances off, but you still see a spurt of red come from come from where the scale is not. And then I circle entirely around. Connected. As soon as I stab him, I use the remainder of my movement to kind of circle around him. So that way there's like all four of us are surrounding him now. Hmm. Full of tricks, I see. Hmm. I have a few tricks of my own. What? No, <laughs> that's not fair. I'm supposed to be cool one. And he will... 
heft is he will he's going to heft his iron warhammer and go I'm gonna give you one more shot until you face everything I've got and kind of pumps his arms forward a little bit just short jerk in front of him and the warhammer begins to glow okay okay well is it my turn again yep this man's gonna Please. rock my shit uh, i stab him again this time my blade erupting with a green flame even though it does nothing to him it's an aoe thing oh hey nice it's a good hit 24. That hits. <laughs> Bad damage, though. Uh, three, five. Wait, five. what did I say my first was? Never mind. It doesn't matter. You I... said it was six. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yep. Five damage. Five. With my rapier. <laughs> And I, I keep right. circling around him. Alright. I see how this is gonna go. Well. Let's go for it. And he is going to take a swing at you with his Warhammer. Double-handed. Right. So I roll a d20 to er, see nope. if... Nope, this would be single-handed. Okay, I roll a d20 to see if he hits me or my duplicates. So, I rolled an 11. So he does, he hits one of my duplicates. What did you roll for an attack? Let's see... Because the duplicate's AC is 14. Where are you? Da, 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 da. It would be 17 to hit. Yeah, so he smashes down on what he thinks is me, and it just poofs in a cloud of glitter. Alrighty. Glittering dust. And then he will take another attack. Another swing as a bonus action. Oh, sh okay. So now the DC is lower or higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mm -hmm. still it's another duplicate. You're lucky because that was a natural twenty. And that one also erupts in a cloud of glittering dust. I'm bound to hit you at some point. The <laughs> I. Had there are only two of you left. So I mean... Next one. Okay. And now your turn. Uh... I guess I, I stab him again. With my rapier. Cause that's really all I can do. Uh... 18 to hit? 18 just hits. Because he's got plate armor. Uh, scale six armor. Scale I was wrong armor. when I said plate. Uh, six damage of piercing variety. I have to roll an 11 or higher on my next d20 unless he, or he hits me. And he will use Stone's Endurance to nullify that damage. Oh, that's fun. He goes to raise his shield, and you faint under him and stab him up between uh, between the ribs. And he just kind of flexes you off and pushes you back with the shield. And I continue circling him. <laughs> My turn. And he is going to go to attack you. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> what did he roll? For curiosity's sake. That would be 22 to hit. Uh, 
I'm gonna use my last first level spell and use reaction shield, as that would have hit me. Alrighty. So instead of it puffing into glitter, he sees like a magical barrier. He brings the me. brings the hammer down, and there is a loud <clears throat> as a shower of sparks come off between the magic forces of the hammer and this glowing blue shield, keeping it inches from your face. <laughs> this will be fun. And he brings it back and brings it down again for a second time with his bonus action. And that will be an 11 to hit. Nope. Shield's still up, so it's up until my turn. Alrighty. I believe it is your turn. Yes. Uh, I want to change what? it up because I feel like this is boring if I just keep moving around him and stabbing him. So, both of my, like me and my duplicate will run away, and as I'm running away, we both turn around and cast Firebolt at him. Alright, go ahead and roll the attack. Uh, 19 plus 6 is 25. That definitely hits. Uh, for... A full 10 oh. fire damage. Fire. That's crazy. I've never done that. Alright. You see is it... He goes to block it with a shield and the firebolt... Hits the center of the shield and wraps around. Just kind of gets in on the clothes that he's wearing under the... Under the armor. <laughs> As he kind of... You see him start to panic. Uh, alright. Uh, Nick, is there a reason he mm. didn't take an attack of opportunity? Yeah, he was confident. Okay, 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 okay. I'll just make sure you didn't forget. Also, I'm fast as shit. Like, I'm faster than normal in my blade stance, but it's your turn. That's just a... I'll throw it out there. All right, one more trick up my sleeve. And he will cast Blindness at second level. What? Okay, uh, what... What What saving throw is that? Constitution. Oh, oh. that's a stat I'm great with. Fun fact, uh... I don't believe I'm proficient. So, 13? Let me see. Da, 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 da. You succeed. Oh, my oh. God. That would have ruined me. <laughs> so, like, as the, the darkness Dark. begins to, like, close around my vision... I shrug it off with a magical flare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ant. Thanks for cheering me on, Wizzy. You see, uh, mm -hmm. you you see his face as the as his spell fails. He readies in the stance and lowers his shield in front of him. Give me your all, and he winks at you. He winks at me? Okay, uh... I think he's flirting with you. I I don't know if that's the case. I'm gonna assume I did do that. <laughs> if I did, I'm ignoring it. Uh... I'm gonna have Eevee fly toward him. So that way it, like, momentarily distracts him. And as she's flying, I'm running toward him with my 40 move speed. And then I stab him. As Eevee dives up as the la at the last second. Alright, go ahead and... 19 plus stuff. 19 plus 
six. So twenty five to hit. All right, that hits. For maximum twelve piercing damage. Like I did it. Nice. I showed Grace the numbers. They're not fake. You stab Good him up. Good job, hobby. Maybe. Under the scale mail shirt. And you hear... <laughs> as he starts coughing out blood. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no I don't want to kill him. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, can killing I... him. And, and your... Puts his uh, left hand on his your shoulder. <laughs> on your shoulder. The shield is blocking your right side from view. And he whispers, You looked like you needed the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which lets you know that he was not giving his all. What? Oh, damn. Okay. Get pity. Well, and I'm going to put my hand on where over, I just. I'm going to put my hand on where. Kill him! No. He shouts over to Brune. I'm ready for that healer now. I uh, I say, let me help with that. And I put my hand on where I just stabbed him. And I use Firebolt to cauterize the wound and stop the bleeding. <laughs> Roll for advantage. Roll for an attack with advantage. Oh, I mean, I was just doing it for flavor, but yeah, I'll, I'll roll for it. Uh, 16. <laughs> Wouldn't that cause him a moment's pain, though? Oh, it would oh, hurt, it would but... It's two death saving throws. <laughs> no, I, I like did 16. You, the armor just kind of... It just sizzles off the armor. Okay, well... Boo. And in the back of your head, you're thinking, hmm, kind of glad that didn't work. Yeah. Okay. I dispel my magical bullshit. Now there's just one of me. Guys, I think I'm gonna lose. Brunt is just kind of, Brunt is just kind of standing up from on his box and goes. Well, to be honest, that was rather disappointing, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, Who'd have known that the big guy? Ah. Such high hopes. I'm kind of sad. Well, on for round two. Oh Sylvia and Elvera, get over here. Wait, do I get my money now or later? Uh, that's, a, that's a good point. Alrighty. For the bets that were taken, an even 200 to you. Oh, you now have 200 gold. People bet on me. You're not. Hooray! You're not hey. cool. But people bet on me, even though the one person did it. You see, over on the edge of the over on the edge of the fence, this little this little goblin lady. I knew you had it in you. Wait, is that the bitch who had the belt? <laughs> and then she gets down off the fence. No! No! Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You can run after her and try and catch her. No, I have, to, I have to stay for the fight. I want to watch my companions. Alrighty. I want to watch. Now, just as the last fight, you each have five minutes to make any last-minute preparations. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I want... Now. Okay, I want to cast invisibility, invisibility and then turn into the wolf. Can I do that? If you cast invisibility and then turn into a wolf, uh -huh. you would no longer be invisible. Oh. You can't uh, concentrate on spells while you're wolfing. Oh, that, okay, okay. That's not the issue, because she's a druid, so she could. Oh. But invisibility, if you, like, do Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you use an action to do something physical like that, you drop the spell. Oh. Uh, Nick, as I, <sighs> as I uh get my gold, can I whisper something to Bruno? 
Brunt. We don't talk about Brunt. Brunt. Bruntus. And yes. Bruntus. Okay, I whisper, I DM'd you. Okay. What about us? No, oh, that's it. Oh. We don't. <laughs> I, I, yes. I wanna. Okay. I, I guess you can. So I, I hand him a small sack. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Anthony! What? What? Is what? this, is this what? wasting my minutes? <laughs> no, no, you're still no. doing no. your minutes. This okay. is just like okay. as I. Make whatever last minute preparations you want to. Okay. I'm um... gonna go pee real quick. I wanna. I still wanna turn. Actually, oh, that's a good idea. Wait, can I? Can I turn into the wolf and still do spells? Uh, not at this level. You cannot. No. No. Okay. Then I just want to turn invisible. Invisible. Just so you know, as soon as you get hit or cast another spell, you drop your invisibility. Wait. Say that again. As soon as you get hit or cast another spell. You drop and your invisibility. Murder. Oh, fuck, but never mind. It's okay. Just, um, I don't know what to do then. Are there any animals around? It's <laughs> me. I'm an animal. You're not an animal, Anthony. Are there any animals, like big animals around? I'm a big animal. They could There's possibly a goat that I'm following you. The goat? Can I have that help me? But I don't want it uh, to die. No. No? Okay. Then never mind. It's okay. What about the goblin? I think I'm ready. Sort of. Not really. Goblin. Alrighty, give me just one second here. I have to double check something. I'm like nervous. Me too. Mm -hmm. You look over at Sylvia and she's just kind of bouncing on her toes, kind of stretching, kind of just trying to crack her back. She kind of bounces over to you, kind of all cheery and says, Good luck. Kind of narrows her eyes at you. You're going to need it. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kind of cringe. How old is Alvera, by the way? Um. Because you're an eight. elf, right? Yeah. So you'd eight. be around eighty or ninety. She's twenty-four. Oh my God, you're a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. I just got back. Why is Ellie a baby? Because she's an elf and she's twenty-four. Yes. What does that mean? Yeah. Elves live, like, centuries long, Ellie. Oh. An 18-year-old for a human would be, like, a 90-year-old elf. Oh, damn. Little baby. Like, Should I still, change the age, then? If you want to. You still, like, look like an adult and stuff. But in, oh. like, in elf terms, you're hold practically a child. Yeah, oh. you're, like, an infant. Oh. That's cool. Like, did your parents lose you or something? No, I'm a I'm a whole alkali. <laughs> Maybe so I should. I wanted away from church camp. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. I'll be back real quick. I'm a five eight baby, bro. <laughs> okay, hey, Xavier, can you help me out for what? a second? Yeah. What? Uh, where did it go? Is it what I DM'd you or not? Two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting. Is that making an attack with the bonus action? The after? Feet, the feet, uh, well, they no, like actions in combat. Two weapon fighting. Oh, no, yeah, I guess that would be because it's listed on a bonus action. Never mind. Yeah, if you, it has to be a finesse weapon if you're doing it with a bonus action. Hmm, okay. I'm pretty sure. Unless you have the dual wielder feet. Which then I think you can just dual wield two weapons. But I do not. With the second, uh, the second attack, you don't add the like dex bonus or whatever unless you have the fighting style. Okay, cool, 
cool, cool, Wait, cool, cool. What, what can I do with circle spells? What do you mean? Like, Say that again? The, those are like, like those are spells specific to your type of druid. Yeah, yes. but what, what are they? What what are what do they do? Like Read what? them. Where are they? What spells, Ellie? Like the druid circles. What spells are like, you saying specifically? I don't know. Just like I don't know what's I don't know what's. What is your druid circle? Oh, uh, grassland. Do you have any spells selected? You always uh, have them. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Like I don't know where they are. Grassland. Are you on D and D Beyond? Yeah. So go to spells under your character sheet. Mm-hmm. And it'll let you prepare certain spells. It'll give you a certain number to shoot that you can it'll give you all the druid spells because you have all of the druid spells, but you can only prepare I think eight. So oh, eight? I'll, I'll let you go through right now and choose what spells you want. Just remember you only have a very limited amount of spell slots. Okay. Wait, Wait, if if they're like if I have some in level two, can I change the ones in level in the first level? What do you mean? Like if I have animal friendship in the first level and second level, can I change the first level? You animal friendship you don't need to use as a second level spell. Oh, then why like, is it here? I don't know. It just gives you the option. It just gives you the option to you don't need to. But Oh, okay. I'm very confused. I'll say because you are new, and because... Wait, what spells did you have ready for the combat with the wolf? Um... I mean, I have invisibility, uh... Healing word. Which... That's it? That could help me in battle, yeah. And, and I think pass without trace, does that help? I don't know. Not in battle. Yeah. I'm dead. But then I have my cantrips. You do have cantrips, which will help, and you do have your wild shape. Uh, so can I choose? Are you wanting to redo your spells right now? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. I'm also confused at what you're asking. I don't know. Um, can I be able to? How many spells do you have prepared? Like, like just like avail, like do we... yes, like available to you right this second. Seven, but like, and actually not even. I have one, two, three, four, five. So then you can choose three more. Three more. Okay. From the the first or second level. Uh, slots. Yeah. Like I, I put in your chat. I put the link to your spells that you can cast. Do you also have a link to wild shapes that you can use? Uh, no. I can maybe find one. I know wolf is. I can one. insect a plague. No, in insect oh. plague is like a swarm of insects kind of thing. Oh. Okay, let me choose these. Um... While uh, the fighters are t taking their time to stretch and meditate on what they're going to do, you hear Varun just talking to people up on the, um, talking up on the podium, on his little box. Yes, yes, I, okay, 20 gold on her, 20 gold on her, alright, ah, 30 gold, alright, this is shaping up to, this is shaping up to be a fight. 
Oof. Wow. Okay. Is it okay? Can I... Does anybody want to bet on Sylvia or on Avera? I do. I hand gold an undisclosed amount. Okay, I druids are so confusing, man. I love druids. <laughs> Y'all are confusing. They only like, uh, at second level See, well, you can transform. So, so it has to be one fourth or lower. That does not have a swim or flying speed. Correct. So none of you want to bet on Sylvia or on Avera besides Xavier. Arc Anthony Grace. Arc left. Ark's gone. Gone. Ark died. How much money do I have? It's I don't have. Ant. What? What do you mean it's so? Wait, do the cantrips uh, count as spells? No. No? Because it's not letting me do. You most likely Wait. already have a maximum amount of cantrips. Oh. They have their own separate counter. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just. You could be an axe beak. That's something. You could be a boar. You could be... See, okay, animal friendship and healing word is in my first level and second letter level, so it's like taking up like two slots. No, it, it's just taking up the first level slot, but it, it's still taking up a known spell slot. <laughs> Oh, so it's one, two, three. You could be a giant four, wolf five, spider. Six. You could be a um, I, then I have two more uh, slots, but it's not letting me choose them. It's. You have two more that you can prepare, or two spell slots. Two, two more that I can prepare, but it's not letting me. What's your wisdom? From first or second level spell. Mm hmm. What's your wisdom, Wait. really? My my wisdom. Yeah. It's three. All right. And yeah. So you can only do six. I can only do six. Wait. Is it level yeah, plus mod plus six. proficiency? Level plus mod. Level plus mod. Oh, okay. It has nothing to do with proficiency. I don't believe so. No. <laughs> well, there you go. You can be a giant badger. You could, be a giant, okay. you could be a giant frog. Can, can you send that link? Can you be a frog? Uh, I'm uh, just looking at this. I'm. It's not like a list, like formally. It's every mm. Dungeons and Dragons beast, and I just am looking at all the one fourth challenge ratings. Oh wait, but I can't beast some of them. No, you can be all of these, oh. as long as they don't have a flying Oh, I can speed. be all of them? Or as I can be a cow. You can be a cow. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have a swim or flying speed. So you can't be a giant owl, but you could probably be a giant centipede. Oh, okay. Or a... I saw there was a spider. Yeah, a giant wolf spider. Oh, uh, I'm back. Yeah, no, you can't be a giant frog, because they have a swim speed. Oh, okay. Can't be an owl because they fly. You'd be an axe beak, that's cool. Wait. Alrighty, one minute warning. One minute warning for our fighters. Oh my god. Okay. Um. You could be a boar. I. True. I Could I be a panther? Yeah, they don't have a flying or swim speed. Okay. Are they one fourth? Yeah, they're one fourth. What's yeah. a. Dire wolf? A big wolf. Oh. Newborn lynx. A, a different kind lynx, of cat? No. Lynx. 
Mm. Also, I would look through everything that you're looking through and see how well they are fighting. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I'm telling you right now, if you turn into like a tabby cat, you're going to die. Wait, say that again? If you turn into like a uh, orange tabby cat, you're going to die. <laughs> like a house cat. Um, okay, I, I think, think, think. I'm gonna be... Alrighty. Sylvia mm -hmm. and Alvera in the ring. I want to turn into a giant sp wolf spider. Ooh, a wolf spider. Wolf spider. Nick mm -hmm. loves those. I fucking mm -hmm. hate you. <laughs> and you know what, Nick? Just because I'm nice, I'll put it in the chat, but I'll have it with like that hidden thing so you have to click it to see it. Don't put it in the chat. No, I'm gonna Don't do put it in the with chat. the thing. Put it in my personal now. Yeah. No, can see Just that. DM it to her. Okay. Do you have a phobia of spiders? I do. Phobia like spider. <laughs> Alrighty. On my left, we have the current reigning champion, Sylvia. She kind of waves at the crowd and. You hear cheering and screaming. And on the right we have- Oh my god! <laughs> we have... Alvera. And- Oh my god, I gotta take off my jacket when doing this, otherwise it's gonna give me a panic attack. Oh! Standing will standing where Alvera is on- kind of low to the ground is a giant gray and black wolf spider <laughs> you want me to shoot the different one? no you're I fine know. you're fine okay. um does it give you like it's armor class and everything yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Do you want to roll for hit points, Ellie, or do you want to use the 11, it says? Um, there's a possibility you could, get, you could get 18, you know, if you roll. You poor, poor girl. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll roll. I'll roll. Okay, so roll 2d8, and then add 2. Uh, fighting... For a I got 16. There you go. And even 16 total or 16 200 after the gold. 16 total. Okay. A prize pot of 200 gold pieces, not including whatever is bet. On my mark, you both fight. Woo! Go, Elver! Alvera. And Alvera, best of luck to you. You're gonna need a lass. Okay. Oh no. Who's going first? I would like for you to roll for initiative. Mission initiative. Oh, uh, what die is that? A D twenty. I got fifteen, and then do I add anything? Your dexterity bonus as the, I guess now wolf spider. Uh, plus three. A plus three, so it'd be seventeen. Right, no, eighteen. Sorry, can't do math. What is your dexterity bonus? Plus three. Hers is plus four. You both got eighteen, but she goes first. What a four. And what is your maximum HP? Uh, we're, oh, when you uh, rolled 2d8, did you roll 16? Or did you roll 14? I rolled 14. Okay. So then you add 16. Wait. Yeah, so 16. And then what is your normal max HP, if you know it? 11. Oh, wait, mine? Yeah. 21. Is that your current HP as well? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. 
So she kind of cracks. Oh. Alrighty. And fight. And you see as she immediately like cracks her neck and rolls, rolls her neck around. And kind of, you see her and uh, with <laughs> all of your eyes, <laughs> with all of your eyes looking at her, kind of like pulsing in vision. You see she's not holding any weapons. Just and you see as she, you see as she rolls her neck, she grows just a little bit. Ooh. Tufts of fur cover her face and her arms. Oh. Claws pop out of her fingers. And two oh, long fangs, two long canines, jut out. As you see, she shifts into this almost saber tooth. And she lets out a small roar. <laughs> And runs and leaps at you. She is going to take a take an attack with her one of her claws. Can I can I dodge? Uh, this is something that she would have to roll to hit, and that would be a seventeen to hit. Mm -hmm. Does that hit you? Um. What what, what do I check? Armor uh, class. it would be your armor class. Um, I, my armor class is 13. So that hits, and you take... 7 points of bludgeoning damage. 7 As points? She decks you right in several of your eyes. <laughs> and she will take an action surge to attack you again. That would be 23 to hit. And you take another 4 points of bludgeoning damage. Wait, is that on my health or the wolf Spider. spider? Wolf spiders. Okay. Um. You know what? <laughs> Let me just turn invisible instead of the wolf spider. What? So you drop the wolf spider? Mm hmm. Alrighty. I have an idea. So you after you get after you get punched twice, you revert back and with a quick motion of your hand as you're looking kinda down at her right now, kinda scared, you turn invisible. Mm -hmm. And that would be your bonus action and your action. Huh? It takes a bonus action to drop out of wild shape, and then an action to cast invisibility. Okay. So she is now going to attack you. She's going to go and try and bite you now. And that would be a 10, which should not hit your armor class. Okay. Wait. Is it, wait, is it my turn now? Yep, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, she goes to hit you and swings wide and misses, and she's now turning in circles, kind of sniffing the air for you. Okay. Um, can I pull out my scimitar and then run at her? And try to hit her? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, what do I roll for that? You will roll a d20. Wizzy, what is your perception? Me, Please Wizzy? Perception. I'm Wizzy. Uh, 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 perception. Perception. Uh, plus three. There we go. Three. I'm prepared. Alrighty. I rolled a 19. You rolled a 19? Mm-hmm. 
that hits, go ahead and roll damage, which will be 1d6 plus your dexterity bonus. Oh, I got a 6. Uh, 7. Wait, how much damage have I taken? Um, zero, since you reverted back. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Anthony, I just sent you a question in your own little chat room. Me? That the typing couldn't send it. Oh. So that would be 1d6 plus your dexterity. And what did you get? Ellie? Mm hmm? What did you get for damage roll? Oh, uh, seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. You circle around her while she, while her back's turned to you, and you take a wild swipe with your scimitar and cut across her back. You see as she immediately turns to look over at you from her shoulder. She does not look happy with being hit. And she is going to go see. and lunge to bite at you. And your invisibility drops so she no longer has disadvantage. But she rolled a four, so... <laughs> okay. Um, it's my turn right now. Um, can I do, can I shoot crossbite at her toes? Uh, sure. Okay, do I, what do I want for that? That would be a d20. Do you have a crossbow? Mm, no. Then no. What do you mean? You asked to shoot a crossbow, right? No, I no, I meant it, if she could see my sword while invisible. Oh, no, you attacked, so you dropped your invisibility. Oh, okay, okay. So you yeah, have the frostbite at her toes. Oh, frostbite, yes. And then I got I got a ten. And then do, do I plus anything with that? I am looking right now. It's your spell casting modifiers. What's your wisdom, Ellie? Three? Uh, three, yeah. So it's plus five. You didn't need to roll anything. This is a constitution oh. saving throw on her part. Oh. Which is my bad. She rolled a 16. So what is your constitution um, saving throw for the uh, spell? Where, where is that? It's your spell DC, Ellie. Oh, um, 11. Are you sure? So she succeeds. Wait, is it? I don't know. It should wait. be 11. It should be 13. 13? Where, where, where does it wait? I'm so good. Wait. Is it save and then plus spell attack? It should say spell save DC. Um, I don't know what that is. It should be 13, because it's 8, plus your proficiency, plus your spell casting mod. Oh. So, plus um, your, so 8 plus 2 plus 3, 13. So it would be 13. Okay. Sylvia succeeds, because she rolled a 16. Mm -hmm. Wait, succeeds at what? So she doesn't take damage. Oh, okay. Nice try, but it's going to take more than that to stop me from ripping out your throat. 
and she's going to lunge at you again, this time with uh, one of her fists. Oh, dear God. She rolled a nine. She goes to swing at you and narrowly misses your face. Okay. She, you can tell that her cockiness is getting to her. Okay. Can I cast Flame Blade? Yeah. Okay. What do I roll for that? Flame Blade. Flame. If I, is it 3d6 plus 3? Oh, dear God. If it is. It is? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. 17, 18. I got 18. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, 18. And then do I plus anything else? Nope. Okay, 18. Is that. Did you add anything to the 3d6? Uh, yeah, the plus 3 that says on the flame blade thing. If that's correct. Uh, you have to roll to attack. So you cast a spell, so there's a fiery blade in your hand, mm -hmm. but you have to roll to attack. Oh, is that d20? Yep. I got 13. That just misses, actually. Bro. Okay. As she goes to punch, as she goes to give you a right hook, you slide to the left and ca cast flame blade, and a bright orange, bright blazing scimitar appears in your hand, and you go to slash down at her, and she is just out of reach. Come on, folks, get your bets in now. She's gonna come back around and try to hit. Dear Jesus. Does a 12 hit? What does that mean? Does a 12 hit your armor class? Um, I have 11 armor class. So it just hits and. She is going for a bite. Will she bait me? Woo, five damage. Oh, she no. lunges at you and pulls you in and just sinks her teeth into your shoulder. And you take five points of piercing damage. Yeah. Can I stab her as soon as she bites me? <laughs> Can you what? Can I like impale her with my flame blade as she bites me? Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead and roll the hit. Okay. I got 11. Does that miss? 11 does miss. Oh. Oh. You go to stab her and she immediately pushes you, pushes you off, pushes herself off of you. Resetting herself and then going back in for another hit. That would be a 13, so a 13 does hit. And you take 10 points of, 10 points of bludgeoning damage as she punches you points. in the gut. 10 points? I'm gonna die. Um, okay. Can I turn into, actually, never mind. Is there any water around? Uh, not in the vicinity. No. Um, hmm. Can I? Okay. Can, I'll, 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 I'll try to stab her again then. All right, go ahead, roll the hit. Oh, uh, I got 17. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll 3d6 fire damage. Okay. 
Seven. All righty. She lets out a muffled shriek as a uh, fiery blade just envelops her clothes in fire. You bring the blade back and you see that uh, in her tor- in her her torso some of the leather is burnt away and you see the fur that is kind of coating her underneath is burnt and charred wow what the fuck you asked for it and she's gonna run back in and try to bite you again That would be a dirty 20 to hit. Oh my god. And that would be... Five points of piercing damage. Oh my god. Can I do, can I do healing word on myself? Yeah. Is that a bonus action or an action? Uh, what does that mean? Okay, what is action? Like, I can do this and then another one? Yeah, you can do that, and then you can attack again with your sword if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, healing mode? Wait. Which is first level or second level? <laughs> what level do you want to cast it as? Second level. Alright, go ahead and mark off that spell slot and roll to heal. No, it's 2d4 plus what? Correct, 2d4 plus 4. I got 6. Alrighty. 6. Okay. Is she almost dead? She's looking a little rough. Okay, that's okay. Um, So then for attack, I do a d20 again? Uh, I got 14. Plus your wisdom bonus? Uh, uh, plus 3. Um, 7? Yeah, no, 7, 17. Alright, go ahead and roll damage. Mm-hmm. Wait, which die? 20? Uh, 3d6. 3d6. 10. Alrighty. You lash out with your flame blade. And you hear another shriek as more of her leather armor is beginning to burn. And you see her clutching her side and look down. And you see red and black mixing together and dripping. Okay, if you're going to heal, I guess I will too. She's going to use Second Wind as her bonus action. Okay. And she will lunge at you. And that is going to be 16 to hit. Sixteen, I believe, hits, so she is going to bite down on you. And you take ten points of piercing damage. I'm dead. You're not dead, you're unconscious. I'm unconscious, I lose. Don't I? You do. (laughs) She jumps and clamps her jaws around your throat and slams you to the ground. And it reminds you of a goat that you once saw this happen to. Oh my god. How poetic. (laughs) 
And your last thought before you black out is, don't let me die like the goat. And okay. you black out. Everybody else, you see her grab her by the grab her by the throat with her jaws and slam her into the ground. Roll and then kick her out of the ring. You I see know. you see this large you see this large Goliath figure run over, kind of hobble over using a mace as a kind of cane, and he will lean down and begin tending to her wounds. Alrighty. And with that, Sylvia remains our reigning champion. What a spitfire she is. <laughs> 200 gold for the prize and 205 gold bet on her. 205? And the extra 15 that was bet on Avra. Yeah. And then you see him get down from the his little box, and he starts going around and passing back winnings to the people that bet. He kind of waddles up to you and goes, Here's your 55. Plus an extra 20. A lot of people bet on her, so it's small winnings, but here you go. Thank you. And hand Silas the money that he bet. You walk over and you see it's Gilead tending to her wounds. And for you to assume it'd be green, a green glow giving her life, it's this deep, dark blood red Ugh. that kills you for. Where are you? Her wounds. Second level. 2d8 plus. 2d8 plus. You heal for 10 hit points. I'm alone. You wake up and start coughing up blood. Don't. Don't say anything yet. I just cured. I just closed the wounds on your throat. It's going to be a minute. Rest. And he gets up and hobbles off. Kind of nods at Silas as he passes by. Uh, can I, like, catch him? This is, this is a gilly... What, Gilead? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, can I, like, catch him? Yeah. Uh, I... Thank you, uh, first of all. Uh, second of all, uh, would you like to maybe... Uh, have a rematch? But, you know, we both are at full strength. Because I, I had this encounter with a winter wolf today. It was this big deal. I do appreciate the gold. Don't think I'm, you know trying to humble myself or anything, but I would like to fight you at your full strength. Uh, even not, if not for coin, just, you know, between you and me. I'm sure we could do it in front of others for coin for a little bit of entertainment value, but do, do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> if that is your wish, I'd be happy to oblige. Come find me when you are ready. I kind of stick out. You can't really miss me. Right. And he shambles off. Can I go check on Ellie's character, Elvera? Make sure she's not 
still dying. I just got my ass kicked, bro. I probably could have done more. You walk back over and you see Sylvia kneeling down next to her. And where her ferocity in battle would lead you to believe that she's heartless, you see her actually helping bandage up the rest of Alvaro's wounds. Yo, can is I she, be best friends with her? Is she conscious? Alvera is conscious now, and at this time you see her her fangs recede and the fur go back to normal. Where you see where the leather was burnt, some of the leather was burnt away on a hole under her, right above her stomach. You see the fur recede and there is a huge burn mark there. No, no. Yikes. Um, are you okay? I apologize. I did not mean to go that rough. Um, <laughs> Ellie has a lot of interest. She's what? 17. She's a teenager. Oh, I mean, Ellie's a teenager, but not her character, so never mind. Yeah. I could make her a love interest. No. 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 What are you gonna do? Groom her? No. Oh my god. No, I just wanna be best friends with her. Oh, she Maybe did she ask has you a question. older sister. Wait, huh? She asked if you were okay. Oh. I can't talk, can I? I, I, I put down thumbs down. I, I lift my hand thumbs down. Oh, uh, I'm I'm so sorry. Um, here, let me help you up. She helps you stand and sandwich. kind of. Look, I know I'm rough in front of Bruntis. But that's kind of how he's made me to be, you know? He? Um, I'm Sylvia. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, stepping in, noticing she can't talk, I'm going to say, Oh, um, I bet on Sylvia. I knew she'd win. I'm sorry to say. Uh, here's the gold I won from betting. And I hand her 20 gold. I hand oh. Elvira 20 gold. Oh, yay. 20. I can't. I still can't afford anything. Sorry, um... I figured, you know, you'd put it towards your debt. Um, yeah. Yeah. Glad you can't talk, though. And I snap my fingers and walk away. So, yeah. Uh, he I is did... kind of an odd one. I bet on Sylvia. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the support. She yells at you. You walk away. Finger guns. I gotta find that guy. Okay. How much weight can we carry? Can who? Like us, me. Why? I'm just asking. What is your strength bonus? Zero. Not a lot. Do you have a number? I'd say probably about. 40 to 50 pounds. Oh, okay, never mind. Why? Because I have 18. 18 what? 18 pounds. Oh, no. You're good for it now. I'll let yeah. you know if something becomes a problem with it. Okay. Do you know where you're staying? I know my head is. Just, okay, come, uh... Come here, just point in the direction, and she will piggyback style put you on her back and just kind of carry you. I'm being carried by a 17 year old. The goat? <laughs> oh, Who, the I, will, goat. I will let you know right now, she has a higher strength bonus than the Goliath. The Goliath? I knew I would. See, I knew it. 
And you guys let me fight this game. Hey, hey man. you chose it. You chose it. Listen, the... listen. I know. I wanted to fight the big burly man. But I had first dibs, and even though I bet on Sylvia to win, I gave you my winnings. So I mean, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, you can yeah, always fight you. tomorrow. You can oh, always yeah, fight tomorrow. True. Okay. And I point her towards the direction of the tent. What color is our tent? Normal tent color. Mm -hmm. Green. So brown. like tannish. Blue. blue. Whoa, you think blue we're rich? Blue. You think we're rich? Wait, blue tents aren't mean rich? Think about medieval what? times, Ellie. Where the fuck are you gonna get blue dye? Wow. Flowers. And blueberries. Blueberries, yeah. Blueberries Where the fuck purple. did you get pink dye from? He's magic. Oh, it's so he teaches it, bro. That's cheap. Yeah. Okay, purple. Guys, purple. I only have 35 gold. Purple you all like reconvene at your tent. All times for, like, royalty. And Sylvia... Or, not Sylvia. Elm, Wizzy, and I'm Silas wondering. are already there, along with Elvern. And Sylvia kind of comes up and just kind of sets you down on the floor, and she's like, I'm, again, so sorry. So sorry for... Awkwardly gestures at everything. <laughs> this. Um. I'll be fighting again tomorrow if any of you are interested in a rematch. Okay, bye. And she'll turn and briskly walk off. It is now your choice what to do for the night. You have successfully gotten a quote. From Adrian, you have unsuccess unsuccessfully fought a fight. You have successfully fought a fight. Hmm. I'm it tempted. It's now up to you what you guys do. I'm tempted to Me. go back to Adrian and pay him to fix up one of the cloaks. Mind yeah. you, it is now after midnight oh it's that late okay never and mind then because when you guys entered the camp it was already dark and the full moon was rising oh interesting okay then yeah i guess we'll sleep and i'll do that tomorrow all righty Everybody, go ahead, take a long rest, reset whatever spells you have to. Is Ark still here? Yes. I heard. Okay, cool. I just haven't said much, because there's not really much more me to do. Me too, sort of. Hey, okay. It's, Hi, Wizzy. It's... Hey. Man. Silas. Yeah. As soon as I wake up and have breakfast and whatnot, I, I wanna... took a long rest and for some reason my HP went to 15. The fuck? What is your maximum HP? It's supposed to be like 28. And it just reset itself to 15. Like, your maximum like... HP? Yeah, I just reset my maximum HP down to 15. Are you a fighter or a rogue? I'm a rogue. Oh shit, and you had 28? I Holy had 28. Alright, um... Go ahead, reset it to 28 then. I gotta figure out how to do that. When I get the chance in the morning, I'll find Adrian and... pay him to make the one of the pelts the 8 by 11s you know re maintain their wintry stuff all right i'll just grab it off the goat and bring it uh just so you know that piece of pelt alone 
is about 80 pounds. Okay, I bring the goat with me with the pelts on the goat. You walk outside and you see that the people in this camp aren't really mourning people. But you do see a few figures walking around. You see Bruntus cracking his knuckles and apparently like walking around, but looking around, making sure no one's watching, he'll reach into his pocket and grab a piece of bacon, shove it in his face. I'm gonna pretend it didn't see you that. see <laughs> You see over the tops of one of the tents. You see a Goliath reach back and stretch his broad shoulders out. And you see a young girl carrying water back in pails from the stream from the entrance as she waves to one of the guards. You look over and you see about 60, 70 feet down. You realize, huh, we're not that far from Adrian's. As you see their pink tent, just poof. You mean like vanish? No, like it's just there. Oh. I, I walk, and as I'm leading the goat, I'm just kind of taking in the morning air. Keeping a careful Snow eye. Snow is beneath your feet. I don't want nobody stealing my shit. Alrighty. Uh, Adrian, to kind of stand outside the tent. No response. I peek inside. The candles Hello? go out, and you see. Hello. Not you, Wing. You see a. Oh. <laughs> you see a shape just kind. Of... No, you say hello, and you see. You hear Wizzy and turns, and he seems to have followed you out of the tent. What? Oh, Wizzy. Oh, Wizzy. Oh, God. Oh. Hello. You frightened right. me. Ah, uh, well, at least you're here. If you want to come in with me, he only likes wizards. Anyway. I like wizards. Me too. Except this one. This one's a fun one. Me? I like him though. He'll be able to do me a great service. Come on, Lizzie. Let's go wake him up. Oh, okay. Man. Alright, man. Man. Adrian! Hmm. What? What? I have what? Go. And you see them turn. You see them roll over and raise a hand and a gust. Nope, not a gust. A, where'd you go? You see them raise a hand and a gust of wind goes to blow both of you back out of the tent. What? Bruh. Is this a DC or is uh, this an AC thing? Succeed on a strength saving throw, so that would be... Bro, I just want my fucking cloak. Okay. 15. I have to beat a 15? Mm-hmm. I rolled an 11. You are thrown out of the tent and into the side of the goat who just kind of stands there chewing on the grass did wizzy did you succeed to succeed what roll what? a d20 you gotta go tell me these things man. d20 uh an i got a seven no. so that's not good no. that's not good at all we, no we, we you are little thrown little. back with him and you both land on each other after you bounce Ooh. off the goat. It's tomfoolery. 
I'm pissed. I just want my fucking... <sighs> Adrian comes stomping out of the tent. What do you think you're doing? I have I... your damn gold. It's first thing in the morning, and I'm trying to sleep. Yes, you need your beauty sleep, elf. You know I'm in a mood, say right? That like you're not. Yeah, okay. We the meditation thing. Only is four hours. Oh. How late did you stay no, up? That's true. Sleeping provides me with a sense of. I don't know. I just like it. Okay. Okay. Well, I like business, and I'm holding out a sack of hundred fifty gold. Is this one of the pelts? Yes. Hmm. All right. One fifty. And an extra twenty five for the rude wake up. Bro, this man really is a bitch. I give him 165. 165. I believe I said an extra 25, not 15. Give him an extra 10. <laughs> Thank you. I will take the pelt inside. Loosen the straps on the... horse. Okay, I... I... I untie one of the pelt. Oh wait, did you just say horse? You see them snap their fingers and point at the pelt and it begins to flow up and they motion and it goes inside the tent. About how long will this take? I'd say about a day. But if you can get me the rest of the pelts by tonight, I can start the process so they're at least refrain from rotting. I mean, they're right there. You, mm, but the gold is not in sight. I don't got no money anymore. I just spent it all. Okay. Noted. And I grab the uh, goat and I start going away. No. Bob what? Saget died. What? Like the actor? Yeah. Oh, what? he was found dead in a Florida hotel room. What the fuck? Who? Bob Saget. Oh my god. No. That's familiar. Right? Oh, he's in full house. Oh, I guess the house isn't so full anymore. Oh my anymore. god. Anthony, what the hell? That's fucking awful. <laughs> what fucking the fuck, awful. Anthony? Wait. That's <laughs> kind of funny. Everybody though. in. 50 yards right. takes 17 psychic damage from Anthony. What? <laughs> no. I'm fucking with you. I refuse because I am not a part of that. <laughs> oh my god. No, but anyways. Well, there's always the fighting ring again. Since it seems that you won yesterday. And they turn around and go to walk back inside. Okay. Well, I'm upset now. Because not only did I give Ellie my extra winnings, but I had to give 
this bastard. Another 25. It's not cool. Okay. I guess we gotta fight again. I guess so. I I want a rematch. You want a rematch? Do you? I mean, Is that I'm, a good idea? Maybe. I mean, you have both wild shapes up, and you were able to mm. change spells, so. Mhm. Mm mhm. I could definitely fight the guy again. Mhm. Mm I think. I think I could take. I could take her, Sylvia. I go back to the tent and I wake up, or I talk to Elvera, who's awake apparently. I think I can. You take guys her. see Elm and Elvern just kind of sitting there talking, eating breakfast. Let's see, you want to rematch Sylvia, but I think I can take her. You take her, and I take the the, 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 the gentle Jillian. Uh, he's not gentle. Although no, he did not hit me. He is. I'm gonna bite his leg off. Trust me, he okay. could have if he wanted to. I believe you. You know, maybe he'll take pity on me and give me the money. Maybe. If I win that 400 gold, I can put it towards, uh, more cloaks for the party, so... That's a bonus. Yeah, I'm- I'm- d I could do it, uh... Y'all better oh, bet but... on me, though. I'm trying to get money. You know, for us. Oh, will bet. Thank you, Wizzy. See? Wizzy, Wizzy here is a great friend. He followed me- I'm gonna bet on Sylvia. What? Okay. Cause you bet on Sylvia. And Bro, I'll give you my money. I gave you the money. Bro, I'm gonna <laughs> wipe Sylvia. <laughs> Maybe. What if I just put it all on Sylvia? Well... Then you're gonna lose some money. I, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. fight. I'll fight Sylvia today. I can do that. Yeah, I'll do it. Do it. I will. All right. So are you guys going back to the fighting ring right now, or are you guys exploring? Or Is it like open right now? Oh, also, oh, I... I relay that, uh, we need to get the rest of the pelts to Adrian, the asshole, by tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's open right now. Go ahead and find out. Okay. Uh, I peer out of the tent. Is it open? Or is it like no, a walk you cannot away? see from where you're at, but you know. still walk. see the Goliath's head bobbing up and down over tents as he walks, and you see maybe ten other people out walking around. Can I go up to Gilead? That's his name, right? Gilead. Mm-hmm. And ask, uh, <clears throat> where's Sylvia? She was out fetching water for breakfast with Runtis. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna postpone our rematch. As we need coin, and unfortunately, Sylvia will bring more. I can I fight him now? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, I want to be. Would you be interested in fighting again? Uh. But fighting the other contestant, Elvira? Would that be something? The. The spider lady? <laughs> yes, the spider lady. Uh. Sure. Okay, well, she, she asked. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Fight to the death. Okay, um, we wouldn't be able to fight till tonight, oh. probably not late late, but fighting starts around supper. 
that answers another question. Thank you. Uh, right. Now I go back to the tent. Uh, now I relay that message. Also, uh, what should we... What should we do about... Like, until then? I'm asking the party. You could go look for that gremlin with the belt. Oh, I, I could I could chase down the belt buckle. You're right. I would like that before everything's done. I don't even know what the belt buckle looks like. I did, wait. Did I catch a glimpse of it, or am I just crazy? Woo! Oh wait, you guys. That's... All you saw from where you were at was that it was silver. I'm. I will look for the goblin girl. Goblin, these balls. I cast Goblin? my bolt on Elf. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wah, wah, wah. I, I, yeah, right. I'm gonna try to find her. Can, can... Go and ask around for whereabouts. Yeah, you can ask around. Alright, I do that. Roll an investigation check. I can do that. Possible mente. What? Oh my good lord! What did you just say? Heaven. Possible mente. <laughs> what? That's Spanish, bro. Well, it's not good Spanish. No, it isn't. No, it's not good. Spanish. It doesn't even sound like Spanish. I heard sussy bulmente. <laughs> uh, natural, natural twenty for a total of twenty-six. Sussy <laughs> bulmente. How do I say it, Ellie? Uh, possiblemente? Possiblemente? Right? Is that right? That's kind of what I said, though. No, you said possible. You said sussy possible. Sussy. Whatever. Sussy possible. Natural 20 for a total of 26. Alright, you go and you walk around and ask, um... You ask oh, around. <laughs> this is there. You go and see this young furbolg child that is honestly probably up to your shoulders. And he's just over kind of drawing in the snow with sticks. Do you, do you know what a goblin lady is? Uh, which one? The one with the... Who's, like, trying to sell the belt buckle. You know what I'm talking about? Which one? Yeah. There's Gertha, there's Gertrude. Any of them. Uh, they live... In... Um, they live in a tent. Wow, no way. You're starting to get the sense that this is a young child. They're just big. I asked someone else then. Oh, is he, uh, is, a uh, is that, oh, shoot, I don't remember his name, uh. Ah. Hmm. You, you're the, you're the, you're the elf that came about the pelts yesterday. Ernest? Wait, what? And you see Ernest step out from, step out from the tent. Oh, hi. Um, I'm looking for the goblin ladies. Also, I did talk to Adrian. He's an asshole. But, he is working on one of the pelts, so I will return to you tomorrow with a commission. Spoon. Well, now, I may be simple, but did you say he in front of him? No. Why? Well, then he, they just don't like you. What? But they're, they don't like anybody. He told me. But if you want to get on their good side, I would refrain from using any 
labels, if you know what I mean. And he puts quotation marks around labels and mean. Right. Sure. Well, I already paid them, man. So, that was great. Good news. I'm out a, more money than I had made from the pits. Hmm. Now, I, I know you didn't just come over for a breakfast call. No, I'm looking for the goblins. Uh, one of them had a belt buckle that I was going to see if you could incorporate into ah. a belt. Gertrude or Gertha? Yes. Hmm. A either of them. It does not matter. I just, I can't find them. Well, Gertha was in one of the, uh, in one of the yellow tents over by, uh, well, shoot, I was on my walk earlier today and I saw this new tent right by the yellow tent. Uh, they live right by there. It's over in the left, right, starts looking at his hands. It's that one. Mm -hmm. The back over by the right of where Adrian was. Okay. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow with the finished pelt. Alright. I'll see you then. Yes. And I go and find the goblin. Alrighty, you are looking, you go looking for one of the tents, and Elvern and Elm are both kind of outside, and <coughs> in front of your guys' tent, and you start telling them this, and then you look over their shoulders, and the tent behind yours is a little yellow tent. You say right behind us? Oh my god. Hi Jay. I go into hey, the tent Jay. and I call inside of it for Hello Uh is anyone awake? Hmm? Hi, what can I do for you? Uh when I walked into the caravan yesterday I, I saw you had a, a belt buckle. Oh, which one, which one? Wait, let me get a light. And, uh, she lights a lantern, and as she lights it and brings it up to her face, you see her face is rather smushed in. What? Like if a pug were a person, this would be them. Oh. The... Kind of smushed in with, uh, big round silver framed glasses sitting on her face now i i'm i'm not the silver worker themselves i'm just a i'm just a seller for, seller for all of the you know the goings ons trying to i work on commission well yeah okay um, and so here are the belts. The belt buckles that I currently have. And stuck. Okay. That was love. Uh, as I'm looking at them. They like that. As I'm looking at them, are they of high quality or are they just belt buckles? Like, are they the normal? Are they like designs? One of them is a wooden one, painted silver. <laughs> And it's just a simple circle that's kind of like carved into the wood on the front. Now this one is rustic, but you don't seem like that type of fella. And she tosses it over her shoulder. And then she reaches down and picks up this hefty 
solid silver belt buckle. Now this one is one that I've tried to sell to Adrian for the past, oh, God knows how long. Because, you know, it has to deal with magic, their magic, just, you know, it's just... You know, look, there's a symbol for each of the schools of magic on it. And in a, in a kind of eye pattern, in the circle that makes up the iris, is a dot representing each sigil of the each school of magic. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it is not just hammered in there, but you could tell that it was carefully pressed in and gotten the design right. And the outer edge of the eye, like where the lid would be, the lines of the lid, is rimmed in gold and it is about the size of both of your fists put together it wait so that's that big mm. the both both of her fists put together oh okay so it's still like a sizable buckle yes buckle. Okay. now this this one's special. It... You know, I don't quite remember. But anyways, this one over here has a nice pretty flower. And it's... This one is solid silver, but you can tell that the flower design was just hammered in there. Because there's dents in by the lines of the flower, and it's... It's a simple flower like a seven-year-old would make. Uh, now those are what I currently have. Ah, it's ooh. stuck. <laughs> so much saliva. Uh, so why would uh, Adrian? It's shiny too. If it's not shiny. Oh no 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 no! no, no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, what? Why would Adrian not buy this one from you? And I gesture to the eyeball one. They say that their magic is so far, far beyond items like this that they don't need any help. Oh. But as we both know, a little help goes a long ways. Oh, so it's enchanted. Yes, it is beautiful, isn't it? It's just really, it's really, en it's an enchanted piece. It's just, it's just beautiful. I, I do think it looks nice. Uh... How how much would this one run for? Now see, I don't really remember, so I'd have to ask Adrian what they think I should sell. Nah, I'm actually fetching this for Adrian. You Roll see, a deception check. I... <laughs> I don't want to deal with that guy anymore, man. Me neither. He's so rude. Hey, a ten plus. Zero. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I've been trying to get them to come over and peruse my collection for ages. Well, he's rather busy, so he told me to fetch it for him. And see if it was up to his, you know, level. That's a, that's a great oh, what magic What did he say why he'd be willing to pay for it? Uh, he said he would be willing, he knows it's a great piece, and would be willing to spend up to ten gold pieces on such an item. Roll a persuasion check. Damn it, man. I don't know what the fuck I want. The one. Uh, awful. Like, six. How much, uh, would you, would you be asking for a, a piece such as this? Well, I, I, I don't know, but I was hoping for at least 20, 25. Somewhere in that range. You know... 
I think he would be okay with 20. It's a deal. Fun. Are you sure you don't want that spit shunk? I, I, I can do it, no problem. Oh, no, you see, you see, uh, I had the, the sack of gold. Uh, actually, I, I have to get it worked on before I even present it to him. I have to attach it oh, to it, the belt it, itself. It, is it not, is it not enough? Oh, no, no, no. What's, what's wrong? The see, uh, well, he has a specific size that he's looking for for the belt, so I have to take it to Ernest to, uh, get it fitted. Oh, okay. But the belt buckle itself is just wonderful. It's amazing. Enchanting, like I said before. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Well, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, yeah, and if you yeah. are ever looking for a belt buckle of your own, you know where to find me. Just don't go to my sister. She uh, only sells wooden ones. She's crazy. I'm sure. I'm sure she's crazy. Uh, Wizzy, are you right behind me? Probably. Oh, hi, Wizzy. Uh, do you do you want any of these belts? Or yes. You... Right. I have this nice wooden one. It. Or, I mean, it's solid silver. You just said it was wood. Solid silver. No, that was my sister Gertrude. I don't like Gertrude. Mm -mm. Uh, Wizzy, I think, I think, Wizzy, I think we should go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Whatever you say, uh, big man. I'm not, mm. We're like the same height, if anything, you're taller than me. Mm -hmm. I'm 5'11". Let's go, let's go, let's go. You shoot her, got, you shoot her a look as, um, you're leaving and she's spit shining the, the wooden one painted silver. Is that like rubbing <laughs> off the paint? That one song. What song? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Did we leave? Yeah. Good. Is there Even a the belt with it? Or is it just the buckle? Nope, just the buckle. God damn it. I go back to Ernest. I'm. No, I'll shut up. We can go back to the party, because I'm, I'm the only one docking and doing stuff. I'll do the belt buckle later. Like, what time is it, like, in, in, in the world? Is it almost It would probably time? be around noon now. People almost are seven. up and walking about. Um... You see kids running around. You see some of them are shifters. You see one of them kind of shifts for a second and grows um, grows little tusks out the side of his mouth and bristly coat uh, on his arms. This guy's probably about five, maybe six. You see him playing with you see him playing with a little goblin who's probably about a foot tall right now. And they're playing with a halfling who's about the same height. And you see people carrying jugs of water around. You see Zhuka weaving in between tents and people. Whenever he passes by a kid, he'll like spin them around and they'll laugh and he'll... Uh, otter his way away. Who just left? Arf did. Okay. He said he's going. Okay. Because they're gonna go watch a movie. Yep. Jasper and him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he just lied? Look at Jasper's status. Oh. He didn't lie, just... Missed out information, right? It's a lie, Nobody lie. said he was. Hey, he said he was. Let's just let's just finish. Okay. I've been the only one talking. <laughs> no, it's okay. Is it okay? I've been talking. Yeah, it's fine. Wizzy. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, we're not what we're not gonna do is start anything that will make this Right, 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 right. Uh Wizzy. Worse of a D D thing than it is. Whatever grievances you have with each other, leave it at the door. That's fine. Wizzy, right. would you like to accompany me back to our earnest friend? See, yes. Maybe he can make us cool belts. I like belts. Yes. I will go. Back to Back Ernest. To... And I... As I'm as walking I... to Ernest, can I cast Detect Magic on the belt buckle? Uh, yes you can. Is it magical? Yes it is. Oh, it is? Oh, I thought she was lying to me. I thought it just looked cool. No, she... No, she said enchanting. She does not know that it's enchanted. Okay. I... I part of me part thought of... that... But then the other part of me said that this goblin lady was crazy, and I'm pretty sure her sister is her. For the record. Oh, good. You'd know, have to go and try and find Gertrude. I'm good. I got what I needed. I thought <laughs> I was. I thought I was gonna go get a nice, cool little owl-shaped belt buckle, but this eye with the schools of magic is cool for wizards. It's so cool. I, I'm gonna go to. Uh, Ernest and see if he can fit it to a belt that would fit my slender figure. No. I'm biting my lip. <laughs> no. Alright. And it is actually as you are walking over there that you uh, a group of kids, the same kids that you saw earlier plus a couple more, run in front of you, and you see them being chased by this saber-toothed cat running on all fours. Oh? Except it's not a cat. And you... She accidentally runs into you. And Wizzy, who I'm assuming is still behind you. Yes. Yes. W Wizzy's my companion now. We're wizard buddies. So, uh, just make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I have to roll? Okay. Both of you. Well. 12 plus 4, 16. Well, uh, dexterity is like, is like 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, I feel 5. Very dextile. So they run into you, and her and Wizzy both fall on the ground. And while she runs into your legs, you kind of spin it off and manage to stay standing, almost sliding in the slush. Oh, is this Sylvia? I'm. 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 Sorry. Oh. Hello. Hey, Sylvia. Uh, looking for Ernest. Uh, but on a second note, I do wish to fight you tonight. If that's okay. Oh, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm just babysitting right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you keep doing that. You keep doing that. I was just looking for Ernest. Okay. Um, oh. yeah. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll see you tonight. Oh. Um... Uh, bring... His son, Ernie. He has a um, son named Ernie. Yeah, and a wife named Erna. We we don't we don't oh, mention. It. Wow. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, um. Ernie's been looking for someone to fight. So if you know anyone. Yeah. Ernie has and been she looking takes off for running after the kids. Oh, the kid wants to fight. Okay. I'm down. You want to fight a kid? <laughs> Yeah, fuck kids. Oh my oh, god. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Are you crazy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa what? there. I understand you were <laughs> no. happy, but no. you got to take it out as a little child. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Actually, no, you're right. I want to fight the gentle giant. Yeah, you fight the big one. I can fight her. I want Wizzy to fight someone. I'm Wizzy. Wizzy, fight the kid. Don't oh, I'll fight him. 
Everyone is toddler. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it a kid? Yes, or is it just a kid? Very <laughs> no, no. It is just a kid who is smart. Why did what you throw me? What did, what did the kid do? He just wants to fight. He's a kid. He doesn't know any better. Does he have any money? Uh, no. Who was gonna pay you to fight the kid? No. no. I thought I thought we were gonna loot him. Guys, I said. <laughs> guys, I said fuck kids, not all fuck kids. Oh my god. Well, now you said that, but. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I keep. Anthony, you quoted me wrong. That's what I. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what the community heard. That's what the community heard. I'm gonna Rick. keep looking for Ernest. You see him uh, taking down the pelt from yesterday and putting the new one up. Kind of shaking out the snow over the old one as he goes. Ah. <laughs> hey, Nick? Oh, I thought you said as he goes. Uh, mm. yeah, as he's working. Oh, I thought you meant like as he goes and then he was gonna say something. Okay, uh, Ernest, my my big friend. We're friends now, kind of. Uh, oh, hello there. I have a. What can I do for you? I'm in the market for belts. You know, mine's getting kind yeah. of worn. My friend here would like a new belt. Okay. Uh, is and, that something uh, you can do? Oh, I believe so. Uh, I was Should be no problem at all. I'm wondering if I could get one custom. Or maybe you could just attach this and I hold up the buckle. Uh, just uh, put this on one of an existing one that would fit me. Oh, of course I can. Excellent. Uh, how much would two belts run for us. I'd say about seven silver pieces. You know, Ernest, I like you. How about we make it an like even gold too. piece? I don't have any change. I nope, I'm not asking for change. I'm asking just for your friendship and good work. And this is a thank you. And I give him one gold piece as payment. But one is less than seven. Okay, I put it back and I give him ten silver pieces. Oh, well, thank you. The gratuity, as they say in the cities, is appreciated. Uh, yes, of course. I'm just, as a gesture, as a showing of good friendship and work on your part uh so yes I would, I'd like two belts please one of them with this on it and I hand him the belt buckle all right uh while I do this I'm gonna I'm gonna have someone else hang up the pelt hey Ernie come hang up the pelt for me would you and you see step out from the tent is this behemoth of a furball almost as tall as Gilead and he just silently grabs the pelt and stretches it and puts it on the slat board wait you're and goes Ernie? Back inside. oh wow okay I guess Ernie ain't no kid. Big boy. Uh, Wizzy. Me, I'm Wizzy. I'm Wizzy. What kind I'm of, Wizzy. uh, do you want, uh, like, a specific belt? Like, do you want a cool... Like, what do you want on your belt? Maybe he can do something special. I want purple. A like purple, purple belt? Like, like, purple. Uh, I can see if he has a purple belt. Mm, when he comes back. Okay. Okay, what? Oh, purple. Well, he just went inside, so we gotta wait until he comes out. 
Well, it's awkward there. Yeah. Uh, not really. No, I mean the, the weather is you know frigid, cold. You like the cold, right? You have cold spells. I hate the cold. You hate the cold. Mm-hmm. Why do you have so mm-hmm. many ice spells? If you hate the cold. You need to be close to your enemies. That. Have you learned I, this? I I get I have not. You're wise in your old age, Wizzy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About ten fifteen minutes pass and he comes back out. Sorry, I fixed. Sorry, I fixed your belt a while ago. I just uh. No, I got distracted looking at my looking at my Ernie. He's been working out so hard. He he has. Uh, what? Do you, do you have anything in purple? Uh, For my friend Wizzy here. I'm your friend. You know I don't know too many animals that are purple. Right. That this is a fair fair point. Uh, I'm sorry, Wizzy. But maybe we could take it to someone. We could take your belt to someone and they could dye it for you. Ooh. Actually, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I do it? With prestidigitation? Hold on. I'm I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm I'm looking. I'm a wizard too, right? I can do it right here. Yeah, you are, right now. Do you have prestidigitation? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm looking at the spell. Is there precipitation? I think I have that right. You can call... Oh. The answer is yes, but it's not permanent. I can make your belt purple. Oh, wait, no, I... Yeah, I can. But it's only for an hour. You can make a color, a small marker, a symbol appear on an object for an hour. <laughs> it's quite could, the deal, could, isn't it? I could make your belt for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Just keep on dying it. It's perfect. Uh, uh, every hour? Can yeah, you every not, hour. Do you not have prestidigitation? No, no prestidigitation. What is it? Pres- pres- what? Prestidigitation. Mm-hmm. It's a ham. It's, it's a can trip. It's a can trip. That's in... Uh. No. <laughs> well, I guess you're out of luck until we can find someone. Oh, rats. Rats indeed. We fought rats. Mm-hmm. Together. Don't remind me. Don't... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was such a mm-hmm. tough topic for you. Remember when you died? That was so embarrassing. I don't God. think I did. Did I? Yes, I, yes, I fell? yes. Mm-hmm. I thought you fell. No, no. I'm pretty no. sure you fell. Anyways, uh, where are we going now? Oh, yes, we have our belts. Thank you, Ernest. I think Ernest left while we were talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's staring at a tree right now. Oh, Ernest is staring. Okay, well, uh, Ernest, thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Yep. Uh, we're going to go. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Well, goodbye. I'll be back tomorrow with the wolf pelt. And we go back to find Elm and. Elvera. Wait, what? I'm back. Look at this belt I got. Oh. It's very nice. I look like Doctor Strange. I wouldn't say that. (laughs) Not that I know who that is. You heard of him. Yeah, who's that guy? (laughs) Oh, he sounds like the local doctor back in my... Yes, the the local church. He called himself Doctor Strange because he was quite the strange man. Yes, yes. Uh, I told Gilead about oh. you wanting to fight him, and he said he said he was okay with it. He said it'd be fun. Right. And I also ran into Sylvia, and I'm going to fight her this evening. 
So maybe. How, how is she doing? Oh, uh, she's babysitting. Babysitting. Mm -hmm. All the little kiddos. There are so many children here. I don't know why, but there's a lot. Well, when there's plenty of adults, they tend to pop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we could grab some lunch, and then I don't know. We we could do something to kill time. What do you want to do, Elm? We could. Oh yeah, Elm. 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 My beloved. Yes. What would you like to do, uh, or either of you, or even Wizzy? But so we could kill some time before mm -hmm. the supper activities. Ooh, you oh, you know what I would like to do. I would like to meditate for one hour. No. On my I'm belt. Not... What do you mean, yeah. no? Can, can, can we go steal something? Yeah, I wanted to steal something. Oh, from the children. They're so highly you know, susceptible. I will let <laughs> you three do <laughs> that, and I will meditate on my new belt so it can okay. attune to me. Okay. Okay. You three have Come on, fun. guys. Okay. What do, what do you guys want to steal? I think okay, we should. Well, I was gonna end the session, but I want to see how this goes. So. All right. Um, oh, okay. I think so, I think uh, Lizzie should be the distraction. I'm the okay. distraction. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what's I... the plan? Wait, what? Okay, what are we stealing, guys? Do yeah, we want to steal some gold? Yeah, we need some gold. We need gold. A child? No. no, not from ch child. Children are poor. A child. Wait, we need to find the richest person here. Honest. Okay. Uh, we could ask around. Yeah, we could. Okay, let's venture out. We could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So we search. You we can search. either make a history check and invest or an investigation check. Investigation. Yeah. Wait. What is my history? Oh, the same. Okay. What die is that? D twenty. I I got nineteen. For history or investigation? Investigation. Give me just one second. I have to sneeze. Okay. Uh, actually, Nick, I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh wait, I'm, I'm meditating. I gotta meditate on my. Yeah, meditate. Meditate. Role. You go and walk around and look and see how people are dressed and see which one is the richest and the only person that you see with any gold, solid gold, would be Zhuka as he is weaving through the streets, or weaving through the little paths of the camp and just in and out people in between people in out in out and he's gone hmm. do you know where his place is yes you've been to it yes okay so if he's not in his place you should probably go there yeah yeah okay and some okay someone is the instruction Mm -hmm. Someone is the, uh, someone is the distraction, and then someone can be help with both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In case anything goes wrong, I can do that. I can be the one that goes in and gets it. I have a pretty high dexterity bonus. Okay, and then Anthony. I mean, what's Wizzy? Do you want to be? <laughs> do you want to be the? Distraction, or did you wanna? I'm a distraction. Okay, me. Wait, what am I gonna do? Distraction. Is there... spell? Not quite. I'll throw it in the air. Won't hurt anyone sure. there. Yeah. Or you can throw it at the ground. What if it's big and it kills me, or the child? Then the it man. kills the child. That's not. What? It's That's not just good. unfortunate that we don't care about the child, yeah. okay? Yeah, we don't care about the child. No, they won't. They won't press charges. Whoa, well, well, they're not going to miss that one. Okay, guys. Are you Wait, why ready? not the air, though? Yeah. It's going to fizzle or something. <laughs> okay, it's, it's okay. It's going to fizzle. Um, okay, we head, we head towards the place inconspicuously. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. You go to Zhuka's big tent. The deep maroon red with the gold and silver etching on the trim. And you see people just wandering around doing their jobs. You see one guard by the front kind of just spinning his spear in the snow, just kind of drawing little doodles. There's I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> There's a few people just walking around trying to sell each other their goods. And Oh my god. I'm sorry. There's not much going on as far as Noise, there's just a lot of people trying to sell their wares to each other. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess we can try talking to the guards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good evening, guards. Uh, we can see this guy's name again. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell you his name. No, 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 I meant, I meant the, the Yuka. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Hang on. Is this like... Is it Juka? Juka. Okay. Strange name. Wait, it's Ju Juka? Okay. Juka? Mm-hmm. All right. Good evening, guards. Juka, our friend, our dear friend, sent us over here Um, <laughs> on, 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 just, just... Fuck. He sent us over here so we could wait for him inside his tent. He said he needed to tell us something very important regarding the the fights later. We'll just be heading in and 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 we'll tell you if anything happens. Roll a deception check. Oh god. Which is a D twenty plus your charisma bonus. Uh, uh. Uh, crazy, crazy. Uh, so I got 16. Oh, okay. One sec. Uh, okay. go ahead, I guess. <laughs> All right, oh. thank you. Um, so we make our way in. Mm -hmm. Um, what's what what's our surroundings? You see a big, spacious. Uh, entry room, probably about 20 foot diameter circle. Mm -hmm. There is a low sitting uh, couch. There is a, there are a lot of. Anthony. Anthony. Oh my God. There are a lot of purple with gold, gold tassel. Uh, sitting pillows around the room and there is a entrance in the back towards where the dining set is and two entrances on either side of the main room god damn ah. okay maybe we could just quickly check everything out mm -hmm. and if we see Zuka, we could just tell him oh we were waiting for you because we had some questions yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> okay um um, El, you you go into the to one room, and then I'll go into the other. And and Rizzy, if you see anyone coming, just just yell, just yell, yell something inconspicuous that isn't obvious, and and we'll come out. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what are what are in the rooms? Oh, they're on the sides, right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. okay, I'll go left. I'll go on the left side. Okay, I'll go. I'll go right then. What's what's what are go in the room? The left side. <laughs> Alrighty, I need each of you to individually roll an investigation check. Okay. okay. What is that? D twenty. Probably, probably. Yeah. Right. 
Correct. Okay. And then is there anything else that we need to do with that? And then the investigation uh, is I I got eighteen. Oh intelligence? Mm -hmm. Um Yay. Where's where's the intelligence? Oh, I got it would be your investigation bonus. Investigation. Oh, uh so I got twenty-two. Oh dear god. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm trying to remember something. Okay. Wow, Miss Meditation is really, really soothing. Hello. <laughs> like calming. Loser. That's why you're gonna. We're, no we're in the middle of a heist here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean have no gold? I just so, uh, spent it all. You enter, you enter the room on the left, and you see a brightly colored mattress with pillows everywhere. Multiple colored blankets, red, blue, purple, gold. Across the pillows, or across the mattress, you see a small nightstand-like table that has several different, um, you don't know what they are, actually. They're oh. little bulbs connected on a chain with a little hook at the end. There's several different variations of them. You see rings on a kind of wire tree looking thing on the nightstand. It looks as if a pine tree were made out of wire. Hmm. And there are rings on each of the arms. You Was see a small me? box, a small chest about the size of a tissue box, kind of tucked under the table. And that's all you see. Is this the left side or the right side? Left side, correct. Okay. <laughs> Wizzy, do you have a hat? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Do you have a hat? In the Probably. <laughs> The raccoon hat, right? That a hobby gave me. Can I take all like the weirdly shaped things and put it in Anthony's hat? Yes, I have two hats, right? And I'm I'm gonna get like some of the rings too. Yeah, not all of them, so it doesn't look. Not so all of them. And did you put the raccoon hat on top of your other one? I guess I did, didn't I? Mm. What? All right. Very stylish. I did. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm gonna do that. You said there's a chest too, right? Mm -hmm. I look in the chest. What's in the chest? You go to open it, and there is a silver padlock on it. Oh, fucking damn it. Can I steal the box? <laughs> is it like, they're like really big. It's about the size of a tissue box. Okay, oh. I'm fucking taking that then. <laughs> can I put it... Where can I put it on me? The fuck can I put it? I'll put it in my... My booby holder, honestly, <laughs> on God, going in between. Them. So you have a giant square in between your tits. Bro, I got huge tits. We don't need to worry about it. That's what I'm. That's that's my go-to, anyways. You know. <laughs> Elms got big titties. That's where they're and going. If, okay. Yeah, and if 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 it's visible, just be like, oh, they I can't have... touch my boobs, bro. They're not yeah. going to touch there. Yeah. <laughs> Scream. Be that as it may, <laughs> there is a wooden edge sticking out of the top of your shirt. Bro, god damn it. Oh my god. Yeah, Do does anyone have a scarf or anything? I have a hat. Bro, doesn't someone have who has a scarf? Someone has a scarf. Fuck. It, stupid, you know who has a fucking scarf? Ark. Obvi's character does. But oh. <laughs> a stupid ass how to stay and meditate. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I'm um, not robbing the people you, we were told to it. protect. <laughs> shove, it, shove it in the waistband of your pants. Oh Can I do that? That's going to stick out even more. <laughs> no, but like near the back. Are you wearing a cloak or anything? I am, actually. That works. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that instead. That works better. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna get the rings and some of the weirdly shaped things. I'm gonna put it in Anthony's hat, whichever one he wants. My hat. Yep, and I'm done in that room, I suppose. Okay, just wait at the dining room. Yep. 
Okay, then then the the right room. Alrighty. You walk into the right room and you see what looks like a just a simple wooden tub filled with like grass on the bottom and rocks. It's about 10 by 10 across, almost as big as it's the same size as the fighting pit. It's 10 by 10 across, filled with rocks and grass at the bottom and some fish and clams. And that's it. Hmm. That room's useless, is it? I can take some clams, eat them later. Some clams? <laughs> can I take a fish? Um, make an attack roll. <laughs> attack roll? <laughs> to take a oh, fish? Fuck. Is that a d20? Yes, plus your dexterity. Oh, okay. Um, I got 17. You hover your hand over the pool. And right when you think the time is right, you punch your hand in and grab something. Oh no. And it's wiggly. It's wiggly. It's wiggly. Ew, ew. You lift it up, and there's a fish flapping and wiggling, trying to squirm out of your hand. But it's in your hand. Okay. Um, can I shove it in one of my many pockets? Hmm? 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 <laughs> <laughs> sure. You now have a trout. Flipping and flopping in your pocket, making it look like you're having a mini seizure. All right, let's go. Um, okay, can we leave? Yeah, can we leave now? We could just be like, oh, we we realized we forgot something at home. If the guards ask. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay, we, we leave. <laughs> we exit the the the, the tent and. Mm -hmm. I thought you were waiting for Zhuka. He should be back soon. Oh, we decided, we, we realized we left something at home. A whole human. And a, a whole wizard. Yeah. I'm a wizard. Yeah, we left our friend there. He... Make a deception <laughs> check. Which one's all of us? <laughs> no. Um, Alvera. For okay. being the one you're talking. Okay, okay. Um, wait, deception? Oh, God, mid, please. Um, Oh, wait. I got I got a fifteen. Oh no! Please, All right. God. Well, he'll be back later if you want to stop and talk again. Thank All right, thank you. We go back. We go back to the <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Mission okay. successful, I guess. That's a perception. Huh? Uh -huh. What? 13, 10, and 10. Okay. Okay. I'm, so, I'm scared now. <laughs> I mean, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we should probably hide this stuff better. I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> 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 Oh wait, we should probably make sure there's they're not like there's no magic in them. Yeah, can we can we check that? Yeah, I can check that I think, right? You can, it'll take you about ten minutes to do so. Ten minutes? Okay. Or wait, no, no, can Wizzy Wizzy do it? Instantaneously as a wizard. Can you get uh, Anthony to do it, couldn't we? Yeah. Javi, you can cast Detect Magic instantaneously as a wizard, can you? Yes, but if you have the Ritual Magic whatever, you can do it uh, at 10 minutes without using a spell slot. But if you do the instantaneous method, that you do expend a spell slot, like I did. Oh. Uh, then I'll do it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay do I roll anything for that? Or no. Nope. Okay. So, so. 
Wait, the sorry. only thing that you sent is magical is the belt buckle currently sitting in front of Silas. Oh. I okay. So we need to break open this. Yeah. Wait. What is the radius for detect magic? Oh, uh, I'm not Probably. doing this to me. What's the? I have to look it up. I think it's thirty or sixty. I'll look it up real quick. I'm terrified. Wait, what? Five e. Five e. Wiki dot detect magic. Thirty feet. Out of the corner of your vision, you see a faint lavender. Color magic aura. Oh, no. And you know that it would be an illusion based magic. Somewhere close to you, actually. Uh, what does that mean? And then, so... it is, and then it wanders off. Oh, no. Someone saw us. Someone saw us. <laughs> <laughs> um, can, can I try looking for them? Are you going to try and follow where the glow went? Yeah, yeah. can we do that? So yeah. we can, I mean, kill it? I mean, no, talk it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, Silas, Silas, can you hide all this stuff well? Hide I... stuff? What you, I'm just trying to focus. Fuck your fucking fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I stop. What is what? so important? <laughs> okay, so we went to steal the stuff. Wait, like, what? Someone why? Saw this. Wait, why would why? you go and steal things? You know, why we, not? we were contracted to protect these people, and you're stealing from them? Yes. We need the gold. This, no. Yeah, we need the we need the gold. We can the sell it fighting, later. The right? fighting pits will give us our gold. What if we lose? Honey, honey, I please. won't lose. Honey, can you put <laughs> this box for me while we go? <laughs> yeah. Just hold it. Don't ask any questions. Just hold it. I hear in silence. <laughs> oh, can take this trunk too. <laughs> I <am> not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this trout. Just like put it in, put it in a bag or something. We can eat it later. I just put them both in her bag. Whose bag? Yours. Oh, okay. That you didn't take with Wait. you for some reason. <laughs> the rings. We need the, the rings. That cast detect magic. Huh? Who was it that cast detect magic? Ellen. Me. Can you do that? Alright, uh, right. you yeah. sense multiple lavender auras. What? Oh my god! Okay. Um, can we, can we, let's, let's go find them. You count five and they're closing in. They're closing in? Okay, let's, let's quickly get out of the tent and run. Um. Is that what yeah. you do? Yeah. You just run. Alright, you step out of the tent. Make a strength stepping throw. Oh my god. Oh my god, which, which die is that? A d20. Oh, I got a three. Oh my fucking... <laughs> You feel yourself run into someone, and you can feel their arms immediately wrap around you and throw you to the ground. No. Damn. Their Ooh. knee is on your chest, and as their invisibility falls and fades, you see Sylvia staring down at you. Oh! <gasps> Hi, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> 
Long time no see. This is rather disappointing. Uh, wh what do you mean? She looks up. You don't see who she's talking to, but she says, Search them. Fuck you, fuck you, Silas. You fucking put it back in her bag. <laughs> you stupid. I don't have my bag on me. Bye. <laughs> Actually, I don't think she Listen, does. Wizzy, you there. see as the tent flaps open, and two dwarves <laughs> and a half orc walk into the tent. What? No, it's <laughs> more. Fuck, fuck. Uh, hello, what? What's going on? You have one chance. One chance to what? Where are the watches? The watches? What? I... I Zhuka's pocket watches. They went missing after these three visited his tent. Where are they? And you turn and you see... Fuck, what's his name? Was he? Oh. You see Bruntus. <laughs> staring Bruntus. up at you. I genuinely have no idea what you're talking about. I've been shopping all day, taking care of errands, and now I'm trying to meditate with my new felt. Where are you? there bags? No, oh, fuck. There are bags? I mean, they're everywhere in the tent. What is Search this about? Them. Okay, hold on. The half orc and another dwarf each grab a different bag and start looking. Oh god, man. What is all of this about? <laughs> can we make them not find it somehow? Yeah. Stolen. I Lucas can property. I. And as the half orc so, can overturns, can I use sleight of hand bag. and cast minor illusion on the bag to make Please. it seem empty? Please. If you can try. Please. <laughs> I just No, I don't do it. No, no do it, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. Lizzie, Lizzie, you the try, you try. Overturns a bag. Because he can just feel and around and dump it out. Up. The other dwarf overturns his bag. And out falls six pocket watches of varying varying metallic hues and a trout. <laughs> I immediately like snap my eyes to Elvira. It wasn't me. <laughs> I've been framed. You were the only one that God saw go into the tent. We listen. We went in there you to look for it. Juka. <laughs> you were the last ones in there, and we invited you. He invited you into the camp. We have supplies, and we have goods, and we have entertainment that we were to bring to your town. Now you get to explain to Zhuka and to your town why the caravan will no longer be providing any supplies, any goods, or any entertainment to your town here out. And you get to explain to Zhuka why you decided to do this. Can we make him forget about this somehow? <laughs> Is there a way, Nicholas? Do you know a smell that can do that? I... No. No, no. Can I, I use persuasion? persuasion? What can I try to you want to try them? to say to persuade them? Um, that I was framed and it wasn't me. We went in there to... Deception. Deception? Deception, Roll yeah. Deception. 
Which die is that? D20. That's wisdom. Oh, I got 16. Okay, and then, wait, what else do I add? Deception? Yeah, yeah, it's just 16. <laughs> okay, first of all, why? Second of all, Ellie, you can cast invisibility. Uh, can I do that on things? You can cast it on you! Why didn't you do that and then go steal shit? Uh oh. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. That's a wonderful question. We might not. Okay, listen. Listen, I got a 16 for, for deception. I believed in you. I helped patch you up. After I nearly killed you. Because I thought... In good spirit, that you would be fine to be with us and to be in our group. She shifts. Oh, she's gonna fucking kill me. How wrong I was to trust you. She shifts oh back. God. You're going to be held before Zhuka, and he will decide what to do with you. Oh. Just Find them. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> the three of you are roped and binded and taken into custody. Oh, my so, God. Zhuka's tent. This the cookie crumbled, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, that brings us to the end of tonight's session. Oh my god, guys, we fucked up!